The Brethren of Chaos Podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Brethren of Chaos Podcast. I don't know what we're on. I, I keep I think I was saying the other day I thought we've done about fifty episodes. Fifty episodes. But we haven't. We've done about four. I think this is thirty nine. Yeah, I think we've been on thirty nine for the past five episodes, I think. Have we? Like actually? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well you've been on fifty, but Yeah, I've been working on fifty, but I, um, I've completely lost track. Yeah, I think it is thirty nine. I'm pretty sure I checked last night. Um How are you, Steve? Have you been so oh and we should we are on a Saturday. Recording yeah, on yeah. Saturday. Odd odd times, unusual yeah. scheduling. Yeah, yeah. It's still light outside. Everton are about to kick off. Um, so I am missing that. I might get notifications from my phone. That's probably a good game to watch as well. I'll try it? not to react. Away? Are you away? Yeah. We're going to get battered. Mm. I might put it on. Just there. <laughs> while we're recording. <laughs> um, no, have you been? All right. I've been all good. I've been busy. Busy, busy. What have I done? Um, Just usual stuff. Yeah. Tra- boxing. Are you back be- boxing, yeah? Yeah, I've been doing a bit of training. Um, cleaning drives this week. Yeah, it's in the sun, in between range, jet washing drives. It's it's, so it's easy. It's been no sun. I, it's yeah, so well, I cold. Got, I got so lucky for some reason. Every time I did it, it was sunny. I was I like, could, what the fuck? I couldn't work outside in this weather, me, you know. Well, yeah, you just get some good layers on. No, it's happy far days. Too cold. Far too cold. Your hands, what about your hands? Poor old hands. Oh, it doesn't affect me. No, no. Mine are the worst. Mine are cold now. We're indoors. <laughs> um, so you've been a bit so. Wait, you've been. Bo- I didn't know you'd gone back to do a bit of boxing. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of boxing. Yeah, bit what? of um. Oh, I did loads of fucking pad work. Yeah, because I've been doing like the different sessions, so like not just the actual fighters and classes as well. Yeah, so it's like the adult classes. So <laughs> a few people turn up, just like middle-aged women who are coming for like fitness. Yeah. But like I'm next to him, like screaming on the bag, doing hooks, <sighs> uh, fucking power hit. <laughs> just she's just like bag. she's gossiping to the woman next to him <laughs> while they're tapping away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know that's cool. Um, we're hopefully gonna get back to playing footy as well. Monday. Yeah, hopefully we'll see. I think Matthew's trying to get it, get it running. I don't think hopefully is the right word for that. No, I just you don't want to play. I don't know. I don't feel up for it anymore. No, but I don't think it'll happen anyway. I don't think it'll happen, but I would really like to play. You're just putting... Yeah, you want it in your head, don't you? Yeah. Nice um, nice game of football to look forward to. Yeah, that's what I need, yeah. I do. Um, what was it? So, I'm hungover. So, we, so we'll... You're dying. You can out, you can out me here because... So, me and, so, we missed it last week. Was I... What was I... Yeah, what were we doing? We were supposed to do it on a Monday, weren't we? But what happened to me? I was busy. Did you lose control again? <laughs> no, no. I've been all right. I don't know where I was or was um, I working late? I can't remember. Something like that. I've been all over the place in work this week. Yeah. I gave blood on Wednesday. I don't want to know about that. <sighs> Mate, I took the knock big time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? I went green. <laughs> or like Shrek? Like, no, I went full like, like grey. My lip Mike, went... Mike, Willa- was it? Willowski or whatever. Mike Wazowski. 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 He's green, isn't he? He is, yeah. <laughs> but my lips went like grey, like a like a dead body. <laughs> but I just felt like so I I could like <laughs> Would they drain all the blood out your body. No, so obviously you get you fully drain- you're taking a pint of blood. Um, so I you're um, like a squashed grape, and I felt fine. Like none of it really hurt. Yeah. Where uh, did he take it from? Just your arm. Straight in, needle in. Yeah. Yeah. No messing around, was it? No, get a good fresh line in. Yeah, they found it in straight away. Straight away, yeah. I've got good veins, though. Yeah. Um. Nice varicose, varicose veins. Yeah. <laughs> Bursting out. <laughs> Ready to pop. <laughs> what, one paper cut and you're gone. Well, it, and you get, the, when was I telling you is that you get 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, you're saying, yeah. I did, I was probably giving blood for about five minutes and I was done. Oh, my God. At the pint was dirt. Fucking done. squirting out. <laughs> oh. Just flying out. But, can, you, um, can you feel it coming out? Not really, no. Your no. arm goes pretty numb pretty quickly as well. Um, so I was I was fine, and then all of a sudden I got like the, like I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. And like then a I was like, my head was going a bit, and I started sweating. I was going to feel. I was going. I feel really hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so um, they put like the aircon on me, and then because I I was done that quickly, they could take the needle out and they tip you upside down, don't they? Because what? if you if you're gonna faint, 
you Wait. you get a faint because you're losing the blood. The blood's coming out your head. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? So they put you. So some some woman flipped you over, about to tombstone you. No, no. <laughs> the chairs I've got. See, it's like a big chair, and it's like sat up, and then it's, and it swings around. it, and then it drops back to like a a lounged position for um for when you're giving the blood, and then if if you're gonna go, it drops back again, so upside that you're upside down. down, pretty much, yeah. Wow, well, so you're on an upside down chair, yeah, so swinging they, around. No, so they did. Oh, no, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna out. pass out. Here. Stop this. <laughs> no, they don't swing it. It's pretty stable. Um, <laughs> so I'm hanging there, and then I feel all right, and then they get you back up and a wash and stuff. But the, I was. They were dead, dead worried about me, and I was going. I feel all right, you know. I can, I could walk around, <laughs> but I, I realised that obviously I must have looked really bad. Yeah, you, to could, be this you worried. could see it on you. Yeah, I felt like it was about thirty seconds, and then I was done. I felt normal again, but and then I realised in this room they're all just little like fifty year old women nurse, old nurses, forty, fifty year old. Um, if I fainted, it'd take about fucking six of them to get me up. Yeah, well, they, yeah. If I hit the what deck, they're gonna do. They would, there's nothing they could do. do. You could have fallen on one as well. Yeah, crushed them. <laughs> She's underneath, can't yeah. move. Um, but no, I was fine after that. And my blood type, Steve, is B positive. Is that rare? It's not common. It's not common. It's not the most common one. I don't know mm. what the, what the rarity is like, but yeah. But it's nice. It's B positive. It's, a, it's got a good ring to that as well, mm. isn't it? B positive. Yeah, you should be positive. I'll try. I'll yeah, try. But it was good. Do you know what I felt? good after it like a sense of fulfillment like i've done a good thing you've helped somebody yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> massive but, fair uh, play yeah fair play so that was wednesday so now we're on saturday so we were like right where, when can we do this podcast yeah we didn't have, we didn't have time in the week to do it um we were all fully booked up with our own sociable plans yeah and then um it was like saturday should we do saturday and i said to you let's do saturday morning an early one and you were like, I can't really do mornings. <coughs> and I'm going, what? It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was I, going, I feel like I'm talking to a 15 year old. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do before one o'clock in the afternoon. Don't wake me up. And so we decided. No, it's just my schedule. Just be the way I've got the balance now. Me. Yeah, but you could go to bed a little bit earlier on a Friday night. We I, we've had this conversation about your yeah. yeah I'm not here. Yeah, I'm not going. Again. We're not. We're not doing that. Again. Um. So we were like one o'clock. What between one and two on Saturday? That's what we're. That's doing. reasonable, isn't it? Yeah. So I go out for me Friday night pint because I finished my weekend work and uh, roll into mine at seven o'clock in the morning. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. On a uh, on Saturday morning. What, so you, was it full moon? <sighs> you turned into a werewolf. Yeah, yeah. Went miss. Okay, well, my clothes <laughs> are ripped. Wait, what? So, so you finish work? Yeah, I get the the, the get the phone call off onto. Yeah. Straight to the. Do you know what time it is? Pint time. Pint. The rocket. Straight to the rocket. Yeah. Not a bad place. Not a bad place to go. Walked into Raynell. Went to the acoustic bar. They had a they had a girl on singing. That's chilled in there, isn't it? It's chilled. Yeah. yeah. Um. Then we went over to the com. So is it starting to spiral here, or is it still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. going. <laughs> it's going at this point. And then uh, we got a lift to the vault. And the, oh, that's it. Isn't it game over? Game over. Yeah. I had a few games of pool though. Got the pool table mm. and the darts. That's yeah. um, sports bar now. It is, yeah. Was there many people in there? No, nah, it was dead. Well, we went pretty late as well. Mm. Like, they were throwing everyone out by the time we got there. Uh, and you stayed. Yeah. Got in your coffin. Yeah. <laughs> and I am now deceased. <laughs> so I woke up. Wait, what happened? To se- how do you stay out till seven, though? Well, you just sit You just sit there, don't you, talking? Yeah. And drinking, and then you look at the time. And I looked at the time at one point, and I was like, it's like five o'clock in the morning. That's late. I need to do something. I need to like get ready to go. No food as well. No. And then the next time I looked at the clock, it was like quarter to seven, <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, we need to go." That's that's horrible. That. That's yeah. horrible. Like, was the sun coming up? No, it's, no. But, which is lucky because if it was the summer, then I'd genuinely want to kill myself. Yeah, it's that is horrendous, isn't it? When yeah. the sun starts coming up and yeah. you're still out. Luckily, it was still dark. It was still dark when I got into bed, and um, I managed to get my head down for a few hours, and woke up at. Like one o'clock, <laughs> hung over. Yeah, <laughs> went and so you woke to up. a text message off you saying, "Let me know when you're leaving." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Steve, I've just woke up." That was like literally me saying, "I can't, yeah. I can't yeah. do mornings," and then you're all waking up. <laughs> yeah, and I fucked it. Yeah, so here we are at five o'clock in the afternoon, which was the original time that you suggested. <laughs> <laughs> we done a full loop. Yeah, um, but. No, I, I don't know. I feel like I I outed you 
that much, mm. that many signs on the podcast that I, I Do deserved you, you need to... With your alcoholism, alcoholism. But... Do you know what? I'd been really like. Do you want an intervention? No, no, I'm fine. Mm. I could literally. Wait, wait. Actually, I'm I'm pretty sure last week on last week's episode you were, or was it the week before? You said. <laughs> it's gonna have a few weeks off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna rein it in. Yeah. And now, now the week after. Well, I didn't know. You're coming in at seven o'clock. <laughs> no, that, but that's fair enough. I didn't have a drink in the week last week. You didn't. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, and I. I do drink in the week yeah pub, pub in the week play a few darts yeah so we had the wedding on friday i did go out on that was a good night yeah that it was, was. A good night. it was a really good night congratulations to connor and becca still on the honeymoon well the mini moon at the minute where did they go um first ventura something like that oh yeah the canary, canary islands. islands looks nice and hot down there connor's sending me daily updates of what, what he's getting up to yeah while you're hung over yeah it's annoying i told him to stop because <laughs> i'm getting jealous <laughs> sort it out um so, yeah, it was a good night at the wedding. Yeah. Um, some great pictures. Some great pictures of, uh, I've been... You know the funniest... The, one of the... Fun, I was, like, laughing on my own, and, like, people probably looked at me going, who the hell is that just laughing on their own? It was when all of you were up on the dance floor, and you were all dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even... That's what you want, though. Like, you're all proper into it. You know, like, yeah. when you fully... Everybody's pulling out the moves. And, like, I was, like, stood back from a distance, like, you know... Just taking it in. Taking it in, like, a big picture. <laughs> Everybody all just going crazy on the dance. That's what you want, man. With all your suits on and everything. Well, that's the, the thing, like, that was such a special day because we were at a wedding. I've been to loads of weddings before and no, no weddings actually really felt like that wedding did. Yeah. Because it's, like, celebrating me mate getting married to... A girl that I've known my whole life. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. And, um, and everybody you know is there. All my mates and my family were there. All yeah, I, I knew everyone there. It was just oh, yeah. That was, was just, a, that was a laugh. That just amazing. Yeah, he had a bit of fun. Like a fucking Paddy Dickhole the next day. He's a dope him. Ugh. Lost his keys and all sorts. He lost his bag. Couldn't get it. I came down. His his phone died because obviously his charger was in his bag, which yeah. he'd lost. Wait, at what? He lost his bag. No, he didn't even go out. In the in the he's, hotel. Oh, you went from the. So he's in the wedding venue. Yeah. And then the hotel. Yeah. And no, and his bag. <laughs> all his bag did was go from my car to the wedding venue. <laughs> I mean, not to the went to the to the hotel. To the hotel. And my car was in the hotel car park, so it literally went fifty yards. What? Well, somebody could have stole it. No. No. It was. He left it in the bar. <laughs> Just on the stool, perched so up it was, on be, the st- it was behind the bar. <laughs> but um, he. Uh, his phone died, and obviously he wants to go on. <laughs> yeah. Or he wants to find out where his bag is, all this. So he gets the, the girl on the front desk to start ringing my room. Oh, God. So, like, what? 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, fucking hell. I'm getting... Uh, my hotel room phone's going on. I'm like, oh, my God. Were you, were you hungover? Yeah. Every, everybody. Everyone was Everybody, on. apart from Matty. Yeah. He seemed, for some reason, he seemed very coherent. Yeah. And uh, then everybody else I've was... I've got me. I can't remember anything. <laughs> Do you remember sweating? Oh, you but were I always sweating. sweat though. I like you've been like in a shower at the end. Yeah, I always get like that. Too much boogieing. Yeah, that's it. The moves. Yeah, too much busting moves. Grooving. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so obviously the wedding that was Friday. Yeah. I, I went. I did go out Sunday. Mm-hmm. I was a little bit drunk on Sunday as well. Uh, and then I, I did plan to have a quiet weekend. Um, but I hammered it last night. I'm not going out tonight, and I'm not drinking Sunday. No. I, you know what you should do? What? Um, in an inter- What they'd say in an intervention would be like to substitute that for something else. Like what? Uh, go to a gig. Yeah, but I would drink. No, if you drove though. I would drink. Would, uh, okay. Okay, what about go to the gym? On like a Friday night? Friday night, the thing big is, session. But, but that's the... Like, Fishing? Go fishing? No, but we've spoken about this before. Well, night fishing? There is nothing that takes up that time, like that period of time of drinking from like, I went out at um, seven o'clock, yeah. got in at 12 hours <laughs> of drinking. Nothing, there's nothing else I can substitute that time with. You, obviously, yeah, you're looking to fill 12 hours. Yeah, obviously I'm not because I just go to bed at a normal time. <laughs> I wouldn't be up till seven in the morning, but... What about the cinema? You, you, you end up going out afterwards something. Yeah. A nice meal? Go to a restaurant? I put that in and get a drink with me. Yeah. You can't, you can't, there's nothing. You need to go camping. That's what you need. Just get away from everything. Yeah. 
Just go and live in the wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> Find a little cabin. Yeah. Maybe I need to. I don't know. I just... Um, no, I think I just need to have a bit more... Go cycling. Like, I could have gone to the Rocket. Yeah. It's literally over the road from my house. Had, yeah. I could have had the pints there, and when they said they were getting off, I could have gone right and gone home. You could have strolled home. Yeah. A few steps. I'd have got a bit of shit off the lads, but... You would have been waking up That would have been it. That would have been done. What about if you have... Say, if you pick something for the morning to do like go cycling in well, the morning well I did pick something for the morning to do or the early afternoon stay I couldn't even get to and that the... <laughs> oh, I don't know I don't no, know there is, it just needs to be it needs to be a thing I mean, I'm going to try not to go out yeah next weekend wait actually don't go cold turkey though no that's what ruins it I think what is it I don't think I've got any plans I'm going to check if I've got any plans next weekend come to Eden's Bar I'm playing in Eden's on Saturday Steve I can't, this is what I mean on Westfield Street <laughs> no chance I'm going there um, right. Next weekend is the twenty second that I'm actually at a party on the Oh dear me. So <laughs> you can't know no rule, look. rule that one out, <laughs> shall we say? <laughs> um had enough of my drinking habits. Um it's not even I don't even think it's it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. There's literal don't, alcoholics yeah, just like don't worry people about. who cannot function. I don't know. I don't know. I literally, I have these conversations all the time, because like, because you feel rough. Yeah, yeah. The you next feel day. you feel bad, don't and you? You feel sorry for yourself yeah. and all that, and so you start saying, thinking like, oh, I've got an issue and need to stop doing this. I know what you mean. I know. It's what like, you mean. I feel fine, and like, by Monday, I forget about it and roll on next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Straight back on it. Yeah. Um. So, gigs, gigs. You were meant to have one tonight, weren't you? Um. Oh, we were. Like got somebody cancelled and what? And I mean, um, place that was had a band, the band cancelled, so they got in touch with us. Oh, but we didn't reply back in in time. Uh, they found someone else. But I've got gigs now every weekend for a while. Nice. When are you going to Spain? Oh well, Cal, <laughs> I haven't told you, haven't I? No. The um the plans. <laughs> oh, I can't I can't say it on here. Why? Because it's like because it's ridiculous. No, well I want to hear it. Well, I'm not gonna go to Spain anymore. Yeah. Because I was thinking, because cause I was going to, because I was, like, I would have been in Spain now, wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. This is the time being, but I stayed to do gigs and work. Yeah, to which, take up the garden business. Yeah, do a bit more, which I've been doing. And I was thinking, oh, well, the only free time really is, like, December, January, February now. And Spain, I was looking, it's not really that warm. No. I mean, if you go in the south, it'll be warm, but... That's where pad, that pad, Paddy's going there. Yeah, in the south. Yeah, um, Almeria. Oh, Mary, is that on the coast? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was thinking... Where are you going to go instead? Yeah, where am I going to go instead? Jerusalem. Oh, imagine. <laughs> well. well, I was thinking... Um, Egypt. No, you're getting closer, though. Oh, is this the Morocco one? No, you know, no. Oh, you're getting cold now. I get cold. Iraq. You're getting warmer. <laughs> India. Very warm. China. Oh. Cold. Pakistan. Sri Lanka. Uh, you're warm. How? Russia. What are you talking about? How am I getting... How is I close with India? Look on the globe. We've got the globe, eh? Oh, shit, yeah. It's right in front of you. <laughs> uh, Turkey. No, what the... F- <laughs> no. Iran. Look, look at India. Yeah. Pakistan. So you're very... You're very Kazakhstan. No, you're getting cold Kazakhstan. now. Kazakhstan. Uh, what is that place there? Bhutan. You're getting warm. Myanmar. Cold. China. <laughs> You've you've skipped a country. I haven't. You have. I can't see. Is there, let me have a look. Bangladesh. Me no. <laughs> I haven't skipped a country. Give me the Nepal. Nepal. Uh, there we go. I was thinking Nepal. It's the a decent hotel there for a night. Guess how much? Eleven pence. No. Ten pound a night. That's all right. For a decent hotel. Yeah. And like meals um, cost like a quid. How much? How many nights are you gonna? Uh, well, I'd go. I'd go for January and February. I've got my um, flights lined up. Got the hotels. I'm just ready to click, click on them all to book them. Pay. Cool. But I was thinking January and February. But how are you gonna? Sorry, are you going on your own? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to when I wants to go to Korea on my own and I'm not allowed to do it because you need someone who speaks Korean? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to Nepal, Steve. Yeah, I've been very. Uh, what's the word when you just fucking do it? What? Well, um, you're at the edge of the cliff and you're gonna jump. Yeah, that's it. You're very... Uh, well, what I was thinking, I'm going to go January and February. Impulsive, impulsive that's yeah. it. 
But I, I've got December free. I could go December and do three months. You're gonna learn any Nepalese before you go? Could do, couldn't I? Nepalese for dummies. <laughs> Duolingo. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Nepalese. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If I find someone to go with, I'd go for three months. But if I'm going on my own, Are you just gonna I'd, do the two. I'd just to do the two. Yeah. <laughs> so what? So thirty days. So six hundred pound for every. That's yeah. all right, that, isn't it? And it's and all the places like decent. Basically, Nepal. India's a fucking shit all, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like it's a dump. Oh, it's a sewer. Yeah, it's yeah. a sewer. Yeah. Whereas Nepal is India, but civilized. Yeah. They're not. They're not animals. They don't shit in their own hands. <laughs> <laughs> Nepal. No, I feel like it's totally different. Nepal, isn't it, to India? The no, people it's... look different. Yeah. People look more different. Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Which Sorry, in the mount- right in the mountains. People look more Oriental. Oriental. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to Kathmandu. Yeah. Spend a few days there, and then I'm going to go to Pakara, yeah. which is like the next city, which is more chilled out. Probably find a boxing gym, do a bit of boxing. Be quieter. But then I could go to Namtree Bazaar. You can fly in there. It's like, oh, it's so fucking cheap. In the, everything's so cheap in the world. Yeah. As soon as you get over there, it's just that easy. Yeah, I, I might not even take any clothes. Just buy it all there. <laughs> Pennies. Just take, a, just take one rucksack. An empty rucksack yeah. to fill up with bulk clothes. <laughs> That's what you want, yeah. You go to Namtree Bazaar as well, which is Everest Base Camp. Uh-huh. Where it's not the base base camp, but it's like where you go, where you make your start so from. You'd see Everest. Yeah, so I could do that as well. Don't go up Everest. No, oh no, they would that be too impulsive? Yeah, I could kill myself in Everest. You could, yeah. Imagine that. That'd be a way to go out, wouldn't it? I know, but no one would know. Mm, I'd have to vlog it, and send it out just <laughs> just <as> before <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know what the I don't think the signals too good up there though. Yeah, I can't. Be, do you think Vodafone works up there? Yeah, don't know whether there's EE. There's not Kevin Bacon must be doing some sort of adverts on the <laughs> for on that Everest Everest <laughs> service in Everest. Um, no, that's cool, that though. So that is your actual actual plan. Yeah, got it all. Got the I've now I've got the hotels, the the flight times, and everything's yeah. ready. Just need to click on it. Unbelievable. That'll be an experience and a half. Do you reckon? Yeah. You know uh, what I was going to go to as well? Yeah. <laughs> it's even more funny. So I I've got family in Pakistan, so I could go and live with them. Really? <laughs> yeah. But that's, um, it's like Sharia law, isn't it, and all that shit? It'd have to be... You'd have to, what? Well, the Taliban are in charge of Pakistan now, aren't they? Are they? I don't know anything. We took like over that. Afghanistan and then, you know, because all the, you know, America, like, got out of oh, Afghanistan. pulled themselves out, yeah. And it basically left this vacuum with the Taliban's old... Yeah. Come up in all that region, but Pakistan's got it now. Oh, so how's your family doing in Pakistan? Yeah, oh, I don't really know. Them. Oh, they could be terrorists for all I know. Could be big, big could members a, of the Taliban. Yeah, big fucking claymores strapped to them, <laughs> nail bombs on the head. <laughs> oh, we mustn't laugh. <laughs> That's a very serious issue. <laughs> um, anything else you want to bring up, Steve? Before we, uh, um, I can't remember whether there is anything we need to. I don't think. <laughs> So I, so I listened to the Welsh, um, he told me to bring up something, which is funny. Cool. So, you yeah, the Welsh trip. Yeah. We were saying we listened to the Radio 4 and it was all random shit. Yeah. One of the random ones that we turned on to, onto Radio 4, one of the programmes, was, <laughs> I remember it now, we were driving, it was in the middle of the night, you know when we were driving back? Yeah. Back home. And it was like middle of the night, nothing, we weren't even talking, we were just listened to this. <laughs> it's so funny, I can't believe I forgot it. It was um, an actual paedophile talking about paedophilia and and his like life and his like th- his story of touching kids and what being in fuck? prison and and saying how like how it, it <laughs> i know it's like it's so it, he's an he was an actual paedophile talking so this about what they say where it's like an illness yeah and he was saying like um i needed to eat well he not me <laughs> oh, oh he, yeah he needed help and he knew he needed help yeah but he couldn't go anywhere for it yeah because he knew he'd get yeah, you can't go, you can't, like, you couldn't even, he said you couldn't even see therapists, because it, like, they didn't oh, even know couldn't. how to do, and it's like... No, you can't go to a therapist and say, you know, I need help, I'm going to, if I don't get help, I'm going to do something bad. But thinking... And society's not self, isn't it? It's thinking just, about and wanting to touch kids is better than touching kids. Yeah. So if you're going to, if you're going to think about it, just don't do it. Do you know what I mean? He said... So did he, but he did do he it. He did it, yeah, yeah. He, he had a... A quite interesting stories was it yeah <laughs> but he said it was. he just couldn't help it yeah and and if there was stuff in place in society he, 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 he safe wouldn't to go. yeah he wouldn't have done it he could have got help and he was like mm. he was pushing that you know about saying like people are judged quick to say condemn them yeah when it's like it is a problem and it should be you should get help rather than Definitely, fucking yeah. he, he was just completely cast aside yeah 
ostracised. Ostracised and yeah. just left to fucking touch kids. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. That's what we listen to. Nice. <laughs> <In the van. laughs> I don't really know what to say to that, Steve. <laughs> um, right. So, uh, well, what, so I can't, what did we do last week? What episode is coming out, what came out oh on Sunday? God. Um, did we do Vlad the Impaler? We did do Vlad the Impaler. Was that the one? No, that came out last Sunday, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, just gone, yeah. So this one will come oh, out, yeah. hopefully this one will come out tomorrow. Oh, it's because we're doing it one Quick day turn before. Round, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. There you are. It might have to come out Monday. No. Yeah. I think everyone will be alright with that. Do you reckon? Yeah, I think we'd get away with it. Um, right, the topic. Um, we were we we said this a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Because this the, this uh this topic and the the, sh- the documentary we, yeah that we both watched yeah, yeah has been on my Netflix list for a while. You had um, it scoped out, yeah, hard scoped, and I only watched it in the last couple of days, but it's probably the best way to to have it fresh in the mind. That's it, yeah. Um, it's all sat there, ready on the on the tip of your tongue. When did you watch it? Um, I watched it quite a while ago, actually. Yeah, but I did watch. Um, the first episode the other day. Rewatch it. But I feel like it is. Um, it's still there. Yeah. Well, I feel like you'd know. Like I didn't know anything about it, me at all. Yeah. Like I, genuinely. I didn't. I didn't. I knew it from like a music point of view. Like that. I knew that. Like the Which bands was, played the. Yeah, yeah. They didn't know it w- went that fucking crazy. Exactly. Yeah. I I had no idea. So uh, we both watched the what was it called? Train, train wreck. wreck. Woodstock '99. It was a train wreck. It was fucking a train wreck. Jesus Christ! Plane wreck. Plane wreck, yeah. nine eleven, cruise ship wreck, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Titanic. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's a, well, we're gonna have a little chat about. You know what I mean? Just talk about what that ridiculous story. On. Typical Americans. Yeah. Well, what so so Woodstock? So I didn't mean so. It was Woodstock sixty sixty nine sixty nine. The one with like Hendrix, you know, when he fucking sets yeah. His, oh no, he didn't set. His, was that the Isle of Wight? The Isle of Man. I he set his guitar on fire. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know actually. But <laughs> that was the. Uh, yeah, the, the original. The, so th- and he the just pinnacle, did that, wasn't it? So this fella, Michael Lang, Lang weirdo, weirdo. Just for like the hippie movements going on in the sixties, it all just come out. What just happened? And they were all about the peace and love and all yeah, that. Good. The cultural change. Yeah, yeah. But Free on, we've spoken about that before. What happened that started that cultural change? Well, well we talked about MK Ultra fucking yeah. giving them all the LSD and creating the hippie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> starting it. Yeah. <laughs> So um, if you want to believe, if you want to believe that that end, yeah, we do believe. I believe that. Yeah. Um. So they had this unbelievable festival, didn't they? With some, yeah, it was like the best festival went. ever, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, just just love and total peace and tranquility and great music. People coming together. Um, everybody had everybody an afro, didn't they? Yeah, the pictures were unbelievable, like flared jeans and like dead tight t shirts, like yeah. little, like like wearing children's t shirts. It's like cropped, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's like sits right there. <laughs> um. I'm not too keen though on, on the hippies. No. Myself personally. Why? I, I know I like that festival. I feel that festival was like a pinnacle of something special, but I don't know. I feel they're just a bit a bit flimsy, aren't they? A bit airy fairy. Yeah. Well, no, but I, I, I can appreciate the um, the hippies from the 60s. Yeah. I think I'm not asked about the ones who, people who are going around now trying to chat the uh, hippies, like yeah. not washing their hair and stuff. Yeah, and fucking making you eat like broccoli all day. <laughs> <laughs> being a vegan yeah you know all yeah. that shit but they're like the fucking yeah. mushrooms tripping and like tinted tinted sunglasses and the style and driving VW vans and oh I like that that's that yeah, is yeah. that's what you but you don't think hippies are like the kind of they don't really have any substance in them you know if you meet a hippie they're just more they're I've just never like, met a hippie <laughs> if you imagine to meet a hippie <laughs> you'd just be like fucking talking to you about it's like people who smoke weed all the time. Yeah. It's just like, oh, that's just like all they fucking talk to you about. They don't really have anything else. What do you mean? I, I don't understand where this has come from, Steve. <laughs> like I it, thought you'd be well into the hippie movement. And nah. like the, no, I'm into it. Like all the peace and love. And I like the VW fan, vans. That's about it. I like the music. I like Hendrix. Exactly. But I don't like wearing sandals and taking LSD and talking about free love. Yes, you do. No, fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't want to talk about free love. Yeah. Oh, peace and love. Nah. That's no. it. There's going to be wars, isn't there? Doesn't have to be. I like scrapping as well. <laughs> That's one thing. <laughs> yeah, you like, are, you're a fighter. Yeah. I like a nice like, a nice scrap. This is different. Even if it's just for fun. Yeah. A little roll around. Yeah. A little scuffle. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. You want to hug somebody. 
No, I'm all about the hug, so I'm, this is where we differ, Steve. <laughs> You're a hippie, aren't you? No, I'm not a hippie, boy. <laughs> I can appreciate the way of life. Um, so that happened in 1969. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought, so Woodstock's like this, you think of festivals, you think Woodstock's like one of those big main names. I thought it was on every year, like a festival is. Yeah, like um, constantly yeah, going throughout like the Like a years. Glastonbury or something. Yeah, yeah. But it's just no, one. Just that one, yeah. And then they tried to bring it back in 94. That was it. That was the, have you seen the Green, when Green A played it? And it, it basically that rained. That was the one, yeah, yeah. And, it, and there's like famous, like the footage of Green Day and they're just covered in mud. Yeah. And like they start like a mud fight. Yeah, and every, so, we, and then the people were breaking down the walls, the, the fences. Oh, and stuff everybody and just, got in for free. Everyone was just flying in for free, yeah. <laughs> and they didn't make any money. So they were, that was like meant to be the return of Woodstock. And yeah. It, it was a catastrophe, just awful failure. But nothing bad really happened though, was it? No. It just it didn't make any money and it rained terribly. Yeah. And it just didn't. Just ruin the field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But really, that's like every festival though and then everyone broke in are you a festival guy no, no I, I've been to a couple a few they don't they don't not your palate <coughs> no I do no I do really enjoy them when I'm there <sighs> but I like a day festival me though like I went to one in Australia which was good oh sat right was a load of hippies there no no just Australian people I don't like live music to be honest but don't you no I don't think so I'd rather listen to it in my earphones just stuff from YouTube really yeah that's depressing <laughs> You don't like live music. You play live music I know, yeah, it's weird, every though, week. It? <laughs> I don't know. I just maybe it was like I would go and watch like Jimi Hendrix. That's what it. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, I don't know. I'd, I prefer the the recorded. Listen to it recorded. That is awful. Yeah, when you live music, you get you're around a lot of drunk people as well, aren't you? That's the point. Yeah, everyone's sharing. Like you're all part of this. You're all in this bubble, and you're all focused on one one thing. You just why are you so being so solitary? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm com- I'm like being reclusive here. You are. Right? You're coming off as a little bit of a recluse. Let me um, an introvert. Let me yeah. Let me recalibrate here. Yeah. Yeah. Come okay, on, now. if you've got Hendrix up on the stage, yeah, and there's two hundred thousand people all listening to the same all, thing, and all blasting taking it, it out, yeah. and he's got you in the palm of his hand, and he's controlling everyone with his music. All right, I like that. Everybody's loving. Yeah, it. when you put it like that, yeah, yeah, that's like what you that. want. Maybe not two hundred thousand people. That's probably too many. That's impressive though. When you go somewhere like that. And, and it's that it, it's that many people that Whew. Whew. that is a different feel. But yeah. then, like, but if you, I could not go to like uh, a killers gig. No, Kings of Leon and fucking no. That's not, I'm not into any of that. Watching, like. yeah, Kasabian. Fuck that. He would. Uh, I don't think I'd watch any. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd watch anyone now. No, I wouldn't. I I'm not into going to watch people i like the festival i like being outdoors and tents and stages like that yeah i don't like going to arenas really oh I, yeah, that's the worst of the worst arenas yeah, that's you the one ushered in you just like stood there yeah that's yeah. you're the middle-aged men no that's matter what gig it is oh, i've got i'm going to watch the house of monkeys me oh. old trafford oh dear me next year <laughs> i knew i had something i was trying to fit. no but that'd be good do you reckon yeah i like the house of monkeys and they were good i've seen them at where did you Leeds see that oh yeah were they good yeah yeah they are really good I'll try and not be negative on that. I know, but at that point, I'm not a big arena person anyway. Yeah, no, I know all. what you mean. I get you. I think I'm, I'm definitely at outdoor stages. You would have been at Woodstock. No. <laughs> no, it's too much that. Those kind of people, the people who were there is just... They were so fucking cringy. Basically, yeah. you watch... So this documentary, it's covering this, isn't it? The Woodstock 99. Fr- so they had the 94. Yeah. Failed... And then these Michael Lang and uh, what's his name, John Schur or something. Yeah. The promoter. Yeah. They decided, right, we're going to make this this one night on the cusp of um, the, what was it, Millennium or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, get all these big bands in, big homage to the, to the original one. But everybody, you went, if you watch this documentary, everybody there is like fucking American Pie. Yeah, frat, frat boy. Yeah, dudes. frat boy. Oh. But this is what I mean. and It's so crazy. This is what I don't understand about how he thought we could set it up the same way as they did in 69 and it all be like, oh, we'll paint he's, all the walls and stuff. Yeah, Everyone will love it. Love. No, yeah, it doesn't yeah. work. You get Limp Biscuit yeah. and fucking Corn. You had Metallica and Megadeth playing exactly. there. <laughs> like, what the it fuck? It doesn't make any sense. It's like... Um, and that is the culture of the 90s. You're not in the 60s anymore. There's no hippies. Hippies no. aren't around. No, no, it's fucking... And they're definitely not listening to the fucking <laughs> corn. Yeah, it was that. That was the big... That was a fuck up right there. Because there's some bits in it, like... Um, do you see the bit in the documentary where Bush plays? And he, it's just... He, corn played, and it's with the scenes. Uh, and listen, it, 
if you've not seen it, go go and watch the documentary just for that. Yeah. It's the guy that, that so, was on the Friday, wasn't it? Yeah. The first day. Describes it like a wave of people That's as it, the yeah. sounds going back and you can see it. It's ridiculous. it looks ridiculous. The people just like floating up yeah. and down the wave. Um and then Bush come out after it and it's just like a little British band that chilled out and play some really yeah, nice songs yeah. and they're like that kind of like love and stuff like that. And, and it didn't go down well though. No, they no, they liked it, it calmed everyone down. Oh, it did, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just chilled everyone out, and that's the kind of people you should be... And then it happened again with um, fucking when Limp Biscuit went, and then Fuck. someone else had to come out after Limp Biscuit. <coughs> had to, like, follow on from that. Yeah. Co- like, Corn and Limp, they're very aggressive music, isn't it? Well, this is what it's... Um, it's like, you listen to Limp Biscuit, you want to punch someone in the face. Well, this, that's what it was. But you got Rage Against the Machine. Oh, yes, fucking... It's all it's rage R- and anger. Rage Against the Machine makes you want to start a militia. Exactly. Fucking well, that's petrol bomb like a, a government building. So when shit actually did it hit the fan at, towards the end of it, and we'll we'll try and follow a bit of a timeline in a minute, but they were all running around chanting fucking Rage, rage Against the Machine songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolute chaos. I just don't understand how they didn't think it was... Well, I people think that, gonna get that Michael Lang, he was a weirdo, and I think he was like out of touch with everything. He lives in Dreamland, yeah. He Definitely. looks like you so much, like me. Y- yeah, like we- so much. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say to that. No, but I thought that's what you were gonna say. I thought you knew that he looked like you. Maybe with the hair, I know I had like similar hair. Yeah, when I grew it out a bit. Maybe, I think your face looks the same as well. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that face. <laughs> It is. You just look exactly the same. He he he's a definite example of somebody who's fried his brain. With yeah. LSD. Or he was just it, no. He is like, he lives dumb in, from the start. He lives in Dreamland. Him like he is a crazy person. The way he speaks doesn't make sense, doesn't it? No, he can't. Doesn't add up. No, he's he's like trying to be dead innocent, isn't he? And yeah. just like oh, I'm just doing it for the people. What? And he was like the matter. He was all the basically the whole thing was like greed and money. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. So the, but shot. yeah, he was out of touch. He didn't know. But it was the, th- the, the bands think, or anything. I think it just it should never. I think it should have lived and stayed in the 60, Woodstock '69 and just left it. Yeah, because I don't. I don't think with the way times are changing, like they were talking about, like how big MTV were at the time, and yeah, all cam like video cameras, and everybody wanted to film it and stuff like that in the news, and also it just wasn't. You couldn't do it the same way. Yeah, it's a completely different feel, isn't it? Yeah, and Vibe. it's all people who were like. Like, the people at 69 were, like, cool, like, hippies, like, nice and chilled out. These are, like, 18-year-old... 100%. Yeah. Fr- was it? Frat boys? Yeah, frat boys, yeah. Oh, it's so cringe. When you watch the documentary, like, every, like, the camera pans onto the crowd. Yeah. And it's, like, frat boys coming up to the screen, isn't it? Like, oh. just making silly noise, grunts. Yeah, doing the fucking rock fucking... What's that? Just, fuck? like, moving their arms and weird. Yeah. Giving it, give, flipping the bird. Yeah, it's fucking bad. Yeah. But, should we start from the beginning? Yeah. So, on the, so we got, I took some notes, got John Sher, yeah. he's the promoter, yeah. who Michael Lang, who was the first guy who did uh, 1969, yeah. he, he's the guy running it, isn't he, this new one, and he gets, yeah. he gets that John Sher, who's basically just a fucking, he's solely there to make money, isn't he? Yeah. He's a businessman, he's not... Yeah, well he knows, so they know they need tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. And they need to get it somehow. So that's his job. <laughs> He's to gonna make do sure it. it makes money. Yeah. <laughs> so they go and they get this airbase, abandoned airbase, wasn't it? Yeah. What was it called? Um, the Griffiths or something. In in Rome, New York. Rome, New York, which was it was near it, wasn't it? Which is crazy as well. It's a go to a festival and walk out and you're on airbase. <laughs> Is ridiculous. Well, that's really what they're saying when they, when they when they all walked in and they just seen it, big it, giant planes. Yeah, and like hangers and yeah. shit like that. And they everyone was thinking, everyone was expecting like fields with trees yeah. and all that shit. Like it should be, but that, and that's already off to like that's so industrial. So yeah. Like tarmac and fucking. Well, the whole ground was tarmac, wasn't it? Yeah, and concrete. Yeah. Exactly, and concrete. Yeah, and then you've got fucking all these all these bands playing. And it's just not. No, no, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. It didn't. It didn't capture. No. What the original one yeah, had. Yeah, didn't have the same Aesthetically. Essence. Yeah. So they fucked up there. Big time. Yeah. <laughs> so they get this air base. Um, who's the mayor? Um, Joe Griffo. 
Yeah. Sounds like a nickname, that, doesn't it? Griffo. Griffo. Hello, Griffo, lad. He was the mayor of Rome. He was he was thrown under the bus, wasn't he? And yeah. He took this on saying, we'll do it here. Yeah. Thinking it was going to be Yeah, like... it'd be massive. It'll live in... <laughs> yeah. Rome, New York will live in history yeah. for all the right reasons. He, he seemed innocent on the on the program. He seemed... He, like, he come across like he... Because it's obviously he's getting... How many years after is this? Like, 20 years. Yeah, yeah. He, you could tell he's like, oh, I fucked up with her. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I messed up <laughs> believing this fucking Michael Lang. I know. But do you ever see right at the start on the de- first day when he tried to smash the um they tried to christen the stage with a, a yeah. champagne bottle? Yeah, wrapped in a tie dye t shirt and it just would not smash. No. <laughs> and then the guy says that was probably uh that was foreshadowing. That. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he tried they were trying for ages to smash it. Yeah, like the footage of him he stood there, isn't it? It's like yeah. awkward, isn't it as Don't well? <laughs> like why wouldn't it break? It's on glass, isn't it? I see how thick a champagne bottle is. And then you're wrapping it, insulating it. With a tie dye. Yeah, with a t shirt. <laughs> Who knows where that T-shirt's been? No, and he wasn't giving it all the... Like, if you get it right over your head and fucking smash it, you could smash it. Like, you're going to behead somebody. Yeah, if you really wanted to. It was... It battle axe it. Yeah, battle axe it. It was awkward, though, that. Yeah. But, um... They even... So they got this, like, uh, this earth, earth field base, or whatever it is. There's two stages. The west stage and the east stage, wasn't there? Mm. And, like... They had a few things, so they had, like, um... They'd have, rave, like, they had raves set up in hangars oh, and stuff, didn't they? Oh, yeah, the they had like a giant uh, beer garden, and it was sort of like like what you would have in a festival. And there yeah. was there was grass where up because everyone was the tents. Is that where they were camping? Yeah, yeah. we're all on on the grass because you had, like, imagine setting your tent up on on concrete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one thing we shouldn't say though is there was no shade. No, wasn't there? Well, that's the thing as well. So you're in you're in summer and. Well, it gets hot, doesn't it? Well, uh, uh, the second day just fucking. Oh, I fucking. Well, you know, New York gets hot, doesn't it? Cause yeah. I was speaking to Chris. I haven't seen Chris in what, a year. Yeah. <laughs> since that, since the wedding the other week, yeah. and he was saying him and Anya went to um, New York for a wedding, and it was you know in the in the time of the heat wave. Yeah. And he said, he said both of them thought they were gonna die. It was that hot. Wow. Like they stood outside with like, the suits on them. It's, it, Unbelievable, and that's in New York. Yeah, New York's extreme weather, isn't it? it gets dead cold yeah, as well. Yeah, it gets like minus twenty in in the winter. It's just, but it's so obviously they're on an airfield. Yeah, there's no shade because no there's shade. no trees. The floor's concrete. Yeah, just holding the, the heat. tarmac is just bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> there's all this heat's getting fucking stored it, throughout the night. It's probably still red hot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so they had. I seen what they had. Um, they made a wall, an eight mile wall, wasn't it? Yeah. A perimeter around the around earth. It. And they painted that. Yeah, because it looked it just looked like a like a chain link fence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they painted it with all like fucking hippie shit, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And that that looked the part of it. Yeah. That was but like then when you turn around and there's a giant fucking airfield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> landing strip. Like well, fuck that. It's not the same. And um and it the first day was the Friday. And that started good, didn't it? Yeah. Boy, actually, it nearly started bad with um. Who's that guy? The um. Oh, James Brown. James Brown. He didn't want to. He didn't want to come out, did no, he? No. He said he he wants to. One. He only ever gets paid in full. In full before it, the gig. Yeah. Which is um, it's weird, but fair enough, I suppose. Yeah. Which is my and I didn't really understand how they got around it because that that fucking John Sher was there saying so. James Brown's manager's trying to say he gets paid. You pay him now, or he's not going out. This is right at the back of the stage, yeah, isn't it's it? It's like the, literally the the band are on the stage. Yeah. Everyone's ready for him. And um, start the festival. Yeah, just to kick off the festival. He looks old and fucking scatty as fuck. By the way, he looks like he's made of clay. Oh, he's cringy as well. Yeah. You seem like he's the way he dances and stuff. No, he's no. He, when I'm he's not. old, but like when you look back at like his performance of the Thriller in Manila. Yeah. No. No. I get. Mm, yeah. Do you feel like he should just pack it in now though? What? No. When he looks like that. Well, that, that, he's dead now, isn't he? Well, yeah. I mean, like when he was. Oh, and yeah. You know, they, when he's no, they, past his time. They go. Like artists like that go far too long. <laughs> Just draw it they out. Do. But then you wouldn't say that about Stones, would you? No, I would. Because they, no, but they still. Mick Jagger oh. still moves pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's still weird though. Cause yeah. he's, they are a bit old, aren't they? He's a pedo as well, isn't he? He's yeah. Dance, prancing around the stage like that. <sighs> loves loves a younger, younger lady anyway. Doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, you're saying the yeah. he was. So James Brown is about the saying. He's not coming on. He's not going out. And then he, that John Shea in the interview just says, "I just told the man just to go fuck himself." And then he was, and then it was singing. I yeah, was and like, he was like, "What? Well how, did, well, how did you get around that?" He must have just walked on. James yeah. Brown must have sort of thought this. I'm this is massive. Gonna... Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand people. I'm just gonna go on screaming his name. The band are there, 
It's good though. I like. I do like James Brown. Do you? Yeah. But uh, what is it like? Funk. Yeah. I don't. Uh, he is weird though. He does look. No, weird. yeah, he is weird. Yeah. His hair is very weird. It straightens it, doesn't he? I don't know whether I could hold a conversation with him. <laughs> But um, <laughs> like, what do you need? Would he just chew your hair off with weird shit? I can't imagine him being able to. He's like one of those people. I can't imagine him being able to speak. <laughs> just mumbles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what he does, doesn't he? Just fill. He, he has all those infills, doesn't he? Like a fucking drummer. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. So that that started it off. That kicked it off. Um. Oh, the other thing they had um, Tibetan monks blessing. Yeah. Didn't they? Which was like, what the fuck's all that about? And it was like, why? Yeah, but they knew. <laughs> must, it was... They must have fucking hexed it. Yeah, not blessed it. They must have known. They must have known. It was like, this could. But something's gonna go wrong here. We need I to get to bed. I literally in. don't understand. I know that it was all about promoting and stuff, and they're the big bands at the time. Yeah, but no, I, I don't understand how you can think it's gonna be all right. Well, yeah, we'll we'll cover it, all, won't we? Like how yeah. it how it. So we've covered a f- few bits there. Why right? the start? The start. There's some stuff not the best. But the day was all right. But like we said, the the it was an air base. Yeah. With no shade, they wouldn't let people bring water in, wouldn't they? As well. Yeah, took all your water bottles off That's you when it. you walked in. It was it four pa- four dollars for a bottle of water as well. Yeah, and it kept going up and up and up as as it went on. So it should be free. Water should just be free. Well, it? they did have the water, didn't they? Like all the taps and stuff to refill your water bottles. But the, the lines but they all were too stopped much. working, and then. Well, they, they, oh. some of them weren't working, and then some of it was like pumping out brown water. <laughs> pumping out shit. It was literally <laughs> shit, yeah. So on on that Friday, that was corn, wasn't it? Yeah. Corn played the big in the evening. Yeah. And that was like a mega, like you're saying, just fucking great. You you listen to Corn's first album? No, I've never listened to Corn. It's Co- not for me. Like Corn's on Corn's first album is ridiculously good. Everything else is like it's just shitty fucking. Frat boy metal, yeah, you know, like that type. But the first album is like crazy, yeah, it's a piece of art. I, lo- I do you know what I loved about watching the documentary when it was corn? It was like he was singing, and it'd be the subtitles on, on it'd be singing, um, like what's it, what do they call it, indistinctively <laughs> or something, <laughs> singing like a madman, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that like fucking the crowd went crazy there, didn't they? Yeah, and then Bush came on, so that so. When Cormora and that is when, so all the promoters and that are there watching it, and the guys who are there for the safety and yeah. all, all part of like the hospitality teams and that, and they're all watching this, going, "This is this is a bit much. This now. is fucking mental. <laughs> we weren't expecting this. Yeah, because it's the because scenes. they didn't they didn't know Corn that like that that John Sher or whatever didn't know Corn didn't they or no. Limbisk or any of these bands they just exactly he just saw the popular ones. Yeah, let's get them in. Get them in, yeah, because it'll get the people in. Didn't know the music makes you want to punch someone in the face. Exactly. <laughs> and they just rile them up as well. Oh, like the, the Corn, like the bands. Yeah, yeah. They're working with the crowd. Are you fucking ready? Yeah. And oh, it's just fucking mental. So mosh that, pits. Th- yeah, that's it. Mosh pits, isn't it? Yeah. Heavy mosh pits. So that that was the um, each other. <laughs> <laughs> that were like We'll get to it as well, but like the loads of women were getting sexually assaulted as well, weren't they? Yeah, that's the big hoodoo at the end, isn't it? <laughs> the hoodoo. Yeah. So um the ad that was the first night and everybody um did they have a rave on it the night? Did you have raves or something? Then it was yeah, if you if you're not ready so Bush played and then it was like, Hey, if you're not ready to go to bed, um there's a rave on in the hangar. Get to the hangar and everybody's yeah. there. <laughs> and that's like just change that's it changes then again. Where you go from all this metal and like mosh pits and bouncing around and yeah. and it changes to everybody taking ecstasy and tripping and staying up all night and fucking yeah spinning around on the heads yeah 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 taking drugs do, do they not just like what say if you went to that yeah and you 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 gone to the hangar then it finishes and then you just go go back to your tent and sleep yeah that's basically the setup yeah until like the seven next seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and me last night. Like you. So that and oh, was they had the offspring, didn't they? They played on the first day. I think so. Yeah. I'm. Not, let me get. I'm gonna get the line up up just so we know. Get the line up. Because um, because I only remember a couple. Because when in the. You know what was funny when I was watching this document when it first came out. There was like people saying, "Oh, when I can't. I felt bad watching watching that documentary because it was like." I wasn't part of, I've never been part of something like that, or I've never, like, you know, like a FOMO feeling. Yeah. And I was like, I feel the complete opposite. I'm fucking glad I wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, did, I had no, it was interesting to watch, but it kind of made me, like... It made me cringe even more. It was a bit much. 
Like, I know it was cringy with the people there, but then even if, like, that same behaviour and everything that's going on, uh, well, I'm, I'm not into, like, corn and no. the biscuit. Not my... Do you like um, Rage Against Machine? I do like Rage Against... I, I, I Metallica? Will, I like, uh, like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, yeah, they played, didn't they? Um, Were you... Loads of stuff. Aerosmith. Uh, See, I didn't realise Did Aerosmith it. play? Well, they're on this list here. Oh, I didn't know that. What the fuck? Well, maybe they didn't. They had the MTV as well was covering the whole thing. Yeah. And you could pay $59 for the full three days. Yeah. Like, who the like fuck? Like a pay, pay, pay-per-view. You just sat at home for three days watching it. You made loads couch. of money that as well, didn't you? <laughs> what the fuck? Who's doing that? It's mad. That, no, but people sit there and watch Glastonbury. When Glastonbury's on, it's televised, isn't it? Yeah. People watch it. You don't have to pay fucking 60 quid for it, like, but um, people pay for it. I can't. Find, I can see like loads of people who are on. Oh, Fingo played as well, didn't in the first. That who's that? That woman who played, Cheryl Crow. Yeah, she played, and she got like um, heckled loads, didn't she? Yeah, they were saying, "Take your fucking get your tits out." <laughs> yeah, that that basically sums up like the um, the atmosphere well, of the people start, yeah. there, wasn't it? That's what started going. So it was like obviously, Americans are fucking weird though. So everyone's walking around naked already. Yeah, girls are just walking around with their tops off and everything like that. It's like news. It was the it was just like ridiculous. Very haram. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, that but then that just elevates all the fucking lads that are there. These fucking horny, erect American. Who's like just watched American? Just watched yeah. American Pie. Just watched American Pie. Listen to Limp Biscuit. Yeah, screaming at Cheryl Crow to get his tits out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All, oh, it's fucking. I can't talk. Actually, it's so cringy. Me yeah. thinking about all them people. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. It's it's genuinely ridiculous. And they were supposed to be like the hippies. Yeah. They're gonna bring back the hippie movement. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What the fuck? So that's so that first day. It's been it's been crazy, like, but but it wasn't a disaster. No, it was like okay. It that was, was just it was wild. It, it was, was a, intense. Yeah, that was an intense. That was a wild, uh, wild Friday. That yeah, yeah. But um, and but, the, uh, another thing was they had the the food stalls, wasn't it? The, the all the food there at the place, at the Woodstock, the venue, that Michael Lang and John Sher sold the rights to the food off because they were cutting corners, weren't they? With yeah. everything to make profit. They sold the rights to the to to the food to independent businesses. Mm. So these independent businesses sell the the food stalls, and they put the price up loads, and nobody could do anything about it because it's the only place you can get food. Yeah, and and it was the them independent bit. You couldn't like tell the businesses or oh, put your food down. Oh yeah, because you didn't have a say. It was like them in control. Yeah, that was one of the problems as well. It's all f- cutting corners. Yeah, because that and then everyone started getting dead angry, didn't they? So like the second when we get the second day. Comes so the, out. People are realizing that they're getting ripped off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah only just then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the the wake you, you can imagine you wake up. Yeah, fucking hungover. Yeah, you need some. F- yeah, you need some water. It's fucking <laughs> baking hot. Like the I don't I didn't take like any uh, statistics of the weather, but it was was it heat? Rate? It was the hottest day of the year. Was that it? Was yeah, yeah. yeah. Ridiculously hot, and there's no shade. You think it? Oh, the worst feeling ever would be hungover like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. In the baking hot sun, you, yeah. can't, you can't get any food or water. All you're doing is drinking fucking shit water. <laughs> the, the lines for everything's dead. 38 long. degrees. Oh, that's, that's unbearable, that. It says oppressive heat. <laughs> <laughs> oppressive heat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the second day starts. Mm. You're getting up. It start, when you go to a festival, you wake up and you chill out for a bit. And obviously, you're not, no one's fucking washing or anything. And, all this stuff, you've got the worst hangover ever. Yeah. You don't, I don't know, I don't think many of them were eating anyway. No. Stuff like that. But it's like, that the first day is like, fucking yeah. And everyone's loving it at the, yeah, you're buzzing everyone's around, at yeah. the festival. And they say this after it as well, like that was like the best three days of their lives. <coughs> even though it went. <laughs> yeah, even though what it goes like, yeah. And even even though it was terribly run. Yeah. Well, it was wow. horrific. That says something, that's like, it, the experience is better than the, yeah. what it, what the thing was. Yeah, exactly. So who? So second day, who? Who is it? Who? Um, was it Limp Biscuit? I think Limp Biscuit was. They were the main act. Yeah. But um, oh, I can't remember actually. There was a load, wasn't there? Fat Boy Slim was on in the night. Yeah, he was playing, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, we'll get to that with the yeah. in the hangar. But um, the I don't. Know, I can't remember. My mind's gone blank. I think it was. It. it was definitely them two. Let me. Don't me to have a good. <laughs> I've got it. I've got. It, I've got it. 
Um, Kid Rock was on. Oh, Second Kid Day. Rock, yeah. See, his music as well is like quite, um, yeah, quite full on, isn't There's it? Also, I think Jamiroquai were there, you know. Jamir, what the? F- um, is this on the? Wait, it's what? just on the line, on the lineup. What's Saturday? Oh, I've got Saturday here. Um, Kid Rock, Limp Biscuit. Also, on the East Stage Saturday. You've got um, Kid Rock in the day, yeah, and then a load of different bands that were um, not really that big. And then the main acts was Limp Biscuit, yeah. Then after them was Rage Against Machine, <laughs> and then after them was Metallica. Fucking hell! <laughs> so this is when, so obviously, what happened the first day? Yeah. Then Limp Biscuit, Limp Biscuit are coming out, and they can tell people are getting riled up already. Yeah, and they have that song, don't they? Break stuff. Yeah. Which literally fucking means... <laughs> yeah, go and break... So they, they come out and everyone's fucking flying around again. Yeah. And the thing was, so they didn't... Michael Lang didn't want any police there, did he? No, no. Oh. He didn't want any security. We did talk about that, yeah. He didn't want any uniform officers, no weapons, nothing like weird that. Weird fucking hippie All belief he did shit. was um, they'd hire people. It was like 200... They'd get $200 for the weekend. And um, they, they were called like peace... Peace Patrol or something. Peace Patrol, yeah. Was that it? Yeah. yeah. And it was these were just like they had no qualifications, like us, no back. People yeah. just come up to us and go two hundred dollars for the for the weekend. But then they were at a festival. Yes, yeah, so they started fucking partying yeah. as well. And then did you hear that one guy who was saying? So he had this Peace Patrol t shirt. Yeah. And the t shirt would get you anywhere. So he he was selling the t shirts. Oh, to I other remember. People. Yeah, yeah, giving them out. Yeah. <laughs> and so people were like going backstage and stuff like that with these t shirts on. That's it's so fucking silly that. He, you, in a place like with that many people, yeah, you need proper security. Yeah. You, you need police. You literally need police. There, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm all for a police state, man. <laughs> so, so Limp Biscuit with it, we're on, and that's going crazy. And this is the point where, it, it is this the one where it starts getting a bit dangerous? Yeah, this and is people where are it, falling over, and people are getting dragged out of the crowd and yeah, stuff like that. Like, like the crowd really fucking riled up here yeah. now. And it was all about what's his fucking name. Um, Limp Biscuit dude Fred Durst yeah Fred Durst <laughs> he's just <laughs> he's like the think... biggest fucking wind up <laughs> in the world and that um, John yeah, he's pretty funny though Fred Durst yeah he's no. had a few like um, what is it moments in the spotlight where he's yeah. <laughs> he's caused a bit he's roosted a few people yeah so that's like, like um, John Shea says then I didn't realise like it didn't help Fred Durst just a dickhead yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah they basically, they basically said he, Limp Biscuit was the one that fueled it kicked it off properly yeah yeah and it was, was it that song, Break Stuff? Yeah. And, and they started ripping down panels of wood and everything. Yeah, yeah. And was it the guy in the in the, in the tower in the middle? Or was that later on? That was later on. That oh, right, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so they start, fucking ri- and then uh, Fred Durst is fucking ripping, ripping stuff to fucking shreds as well. <laughs> and that's, it's just going, going crazy at that point. And, and by this point, like you said, people realise that they've been ripped off. Yeah. They, they can't get any water. So everyone's getting angry as well. They can't. Do, do you know what the bit massive thing was as well? How much the litter? Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> the whole floor's covered, isn't it's it? When, and it's when fucking... There's no bins, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, Wyclef John is is on and he's doing um, Star Spangled Banner on the guitar and he's saying, have you got any empty water bottles? Throw, Throw them at you. Yeah. it's just h- hundreds, thousands <laughs> of empty water bottles being launched up onto stage <laughs> and it's like, this is what it's going to be remembered for. Yeah, yeah. Because they just... Cause the, it was just so poorly like organized. Well, yeah, they, there was no organization that like planned for that, didn't it? Yeah, so they said like the the amount of um, litter and stuff like that and rubbish and trash that was going to be there, um, the like normal like, utilities companies would not have been able to deal with that much. So they were overrun by it. Obviously, they had to deal with all the other fucking bins around New York as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So it was down to subcontractors, but then th- those people like the Peace Patrol weren't doing the jobs properly. Yeah. So um so it was just like rubbish. I, m- I remember there was like there was no bins, wasn't there? Oh yeah. there was there was there like was, but they just get over they get filled on the first day and no and one invented them. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you put all your rubbish? Uh-huh. But it's impossible like I was I was trying to think so when when I was watching it and I'm looking at these issues where um like even even issues with the crowd and the crowd control and the bands you've got on, mm. how do you control it? You don't control it. You just let them you how I was thinking if I was trying to run a festival, how would I control that? If I was trying to run a festival, how would I deal with how much rubbish there was going to be there? Yeah. Well, it's better to be overkill, though, than underkill like they were. Yeah. But, like, what's overkill? Just loads of bins everywhere. I... Or you hire an actual company to yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> empty the bins. A proper business. Yeah. Yeah, we, I think the 
what fucked it up though was what you said, where people realised they were getting ripped off, and so everyone was just fuming. Everybody. Everybody's head's gone. Yeah. If you kept, if you had like proper food places, uh, and like the water was free. Yeah. And like there was no um, the toilets, wasn't there? Yeah. There was only like a, f- a handful of toilets, and then they the started leaking thing. everywhere, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. And Over it, oh, that's when was that the. Was that the second day or the... Might have been the last day when the toilets were all over, overflowing. I think it was the first, even on the first day, and wasn't it? People are, like, in the mud and splashing around yeah, and yeah. stuff, and then you realise that's all, like, shit. It's all, yeah. Didn't one, one, one girl get, like, fucking trench mouth? Yeah, yeah. Because that's what you get from drinking shit in water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feces water. Uh, yeah. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure the toilets, were like, were fucked on the first night. I w- I w- wouldn't surprise me, like, yeah. would not surprise like, They me. just had, they literally underestimated the whole thing, yeah. that Michael Lang and John Sher. I think everyone did, so even, so certain food vendors and stuff and the, the drinks, people would start closing down because they'd run out of stocks and it'd be, you'd be like the last ones who had water. Everybody's so people were charging like $12 for water. Put the price up. In, 19, in 1999. <laughs> that's fucking I ridiculous. That's like Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you got to think, <laughs> you got to think people there are like nearly dying from the heat. Yeah. Well, this is the people getting heat stroke and stuff yeah. in the second day, weren't they? I was saying like, pe- like everyone was passing out. No shade. Can't, what do you do if you no. were there? What What do you do? <sighs> you have to like find a piece of fabric to hold up. Well, they were, weren't they? Like cardboard and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's that's outrageous. An that. Umbrella. So there we go. We've got a few things we could have saw it there. We could have. Had, I'd set loads of like, um, what is it called? Like gazebos. Yeah, like big ones. You know, like tents. Yeah, so you can walk through. Yeah, big yeah, like like an actual festival, like yeah, a, yeah. like a proper tent, massive tent. Yeah, like a circus tent. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with just, no sides, just keeping people. Y- yeah, I mean, but you you bake under them as well, though. You think about it. Get a big. Yeah. Should, have, should have it all enclosed, big aircon rooms. Yeah, we should. Have, we'll have aircon pods. Yeah, That's big what fans. <laughs> Two giant fans blowing everyone. <laughs> what so? What would you do for the water though? You think about it. I would have just had free water. Yeah, I would have like. Because these people were trying to get as much... It's all about squeezing as much profit out as possible, wasn't it? Yeah. That's why they got these other people in to do the, the money, the the food and water. I would just add free water. Yeah. Don't, How'd you get free water, though? Don't just buy... I don't know. Spend millions on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, they had taps, But then you're going to get all the bottles and that? Yeah. I would give... I would get Woodstock water bottles. <sighs> so like reusable ones. And I'd give them out on the door. Yeah. And then I'd make sure we had all, like, fresh water. Oh, I wouldn't have, like, taps, though. No. Which is all plumbed in. I'd have, like, like actual, like, counters and, like, vendors who were, would fill the water bottles up. Yeah. And, Do you and know, like, if you go to Alton Towers and you get that re- reusable drink drinks cup? <laughs> no, but that's, like, a top idea, that. That's what you'd do. And then you've, the person's got the memento. You're going to keep it, aren't you? You're not going to fucking launch it around. And that's what they were dead bothered about as well, weren't they? Get, make sure you sell all this merch. Yeah, yeah. Fucking get all the money. Yeah. Well, there's there's a few problems there. Um, what was the other stuff? Oh yeah, the um, so there's no way you can control that crowd. Well, they couldn't control it with the fucking what is it? The peace, peace patrol. patrol. They literally hired people yeah. who had no experience in dealing with crowds or running. I don't think e- you could put a state. There was like two hundred and fifty thousand people there. Yeah, I don't think you could. Maybe I don't know. I think we're even better with some <laughs> some police. Yeah, it, no, it would have been, and you'd probably like have a few less people because it's Limp Biscuit. Yeah, and that kind of music, Rage Against the Machine, and stuff like that. I, I, I think I just leave the crowd. Yeah, just let them go. Yeah, let them go wild, let miss it. But in, in the other places, have like proper security, proper like, you know, to contain people yeah. fucking trashing the place like they were. Mm. Like people broke the taps, didn't they? Yeah, of the water stuff like that. Well, they're just ripping everything. To, by by the second day, that's when people start ripping everything yeah. to shreds. Yeah, everybody's head's gone. Yeah, Limp Biscuit's fucking yeah. so told them to so break everyone's stuff. Everyone's riled up from yeah. Limp Biscuit, and, and then they get, they get the fucking hungover. The night no comes, food. and it's fat boy slim. Yeah, <laughs> they all go. Well, that, they didn't. They didn't say. I don't remember him seeing it. Saying it in the show, but it says Rage Against the Metallica. Yeah. We're after Limp Biscuit. Yeah, I, I didn't well, say I didn't, in the show that there's didn't... so many unbelievable bands that they missed out. Yeah, that maybe co- documentary copyright. Maybe no, not co- yeah. is it copyright? Well, I didn't mean they all signed a non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, after the thing, and then all these people are just I don't know how they just fucking do it. Go, yeah. He's dead, isn't he now, Michael Lang? Is he dead now? Yeah, yeah. Well, he died like after the the sh- he died when the show came out, the documentary or something. Did he? He couldn't, he couldn't even like. 
What? Couldn't even Argue say his point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dead. Yeah, so... So, yeah, so they've got riled up. Yeah. They're all... They're all... Heads are gone. Cans of Fanta being shaken up, ready yeah. to pop. That's it. There we go. Fat Boy Slim in the barn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the studio. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hangar. And that was, like, the night, wasn't it? Yeah, so this was, like, the DJs and it was the dance scene, wasn't yeah. it, at night? If Which you... is another thing that didn't happen at... Stock Woodstock. 69. <laughs> there was no raves. Yeah, was there a rave there? Yeah. <laughs> so this is like everyone's taking um taking gaddies. Yeah. Taking pills, taking ecstasy. Everyone's living it. People are fucking shagging on the floor. People are shagging up against the walls. And Literally stuff. in the venue. Yeah, everyone's fucking naked. People what was like so people are taking hallucinogenics. Degenerates. What was that guy's the, the guy one of the guys says, I, I walked in and people I saw some fucking kid smashing his head against the floor because he was tripping that much. What the fuck? You know, like you're talking about this now. I, I've never, I'm never praying more for like a good Al Qaeda, ISIS terrorist attack on something like that. <laughs> fucking blow up them Full degenerates. Ariana That's... Grande concert. Oh, I'd, I'd be praising that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, honestly. Yeah. Fuck that. That's full degeneracy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. You're not gonna walk into Amish community and. See, get, I don't get away with that. Aren't you? I, I could, I, I could partake. Could you? Yeah. Every now and then, yeah. once a year. What? Once a year. <laughs> Let it all out. Eh? Yeah. No, like a fat boy slim. That'd be heavy. That like a fat boy slim rave. He's a legend, eh? I, I don't mind fat boy slim, but think you, but think of the people you're surrounded by. I didn't realize how like well spoken he is. It's I know. Yeah, it I hate that. Isn't it? <laughs> when I first listened to him speak yeah. like that, it's so oh. hard, isn't it? Didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought he'd be like fucking. Uh, Bez from Happy Monday, yeah, yeah. Like fucking Sean Ryder or something like that. <laughs> Absolutely mangled it, years of abuse. Just DJing. Yeah. Well, he's like Tyson Fury. Is he? He yeah. speaks Tyson Fury speaks perfect. Yeah. You like his pronunciation? Oh yeah, yeah. It's very weird. He's isn't got a it? bit of a list, Tyson Fury. Has he? <laughs> Bit his tongue a few times. Probably yeah. He said he got punched in the neck, didn't he? <laughs> That's why his voice is his voice never used to be like so low. Yeah. Yeah, he's got like a. He's, he he's is, a bit yeah, like Sean error. Dyche, isn't it? Yeah. Like gravelly. Yeah, gravelly. That's yeah. it. He, um, yeah, but Fat Boy Slim, so he's on, everyone's going up fucking mental. But he loves it, that's like... That's what he's... That like. is a rave. Yeah. Unfortunately. I I can't... Everyone's I, tripping, he's promoting the love, that's what he wants, doesn't he? Just love each other, take the ecstasy. But I'd rather be in a mosque dream. and we're all praying. Yeah, like Sean, sure, well... Fuck that. <laughs> fuck the rave system like that. So then, it's all going really well, everyone's having sex and... Yeah. Doing all sorts and smashing their head on the walls and... <laughs> and then all of a sudden, two the two lights are coming through the crowd. <laughs> I'm like, what What's is that? that? What's and going then on people there? are people. Are, what does someone shout shout something out? Don't they? I can't remember. Like, what the fuck's that? Oh, people are confused. Yeah, yeah. And like the the promoters, yeah, or like the people behind the scenes are confused. Well, aren't they? Yeah. Like, what, what's going on here? This hangar. Yeah, and then so they, and then they realise someone's commandeered a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't understand where. So I don't understand where that was. It an army vehicle? I don't know. It was know. like a truck, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, van. A van turned up in the middle of the hangar. Yeah. In front of like how like thousands of people with people dancing on top of it. Yeah, and it's driving through. Yeah. So the person driving it's obviously not sober. Yeah. He's not in a. He's, he's over the limit. He's well over the limit. Though. Yeah. He's not in the right state to um <laughs> to be driving, driving. a truck yeah. <laughs> with a load of people around him. <laughs> so it, it's like it pulls up, doesn't it, in the middle? Yeah. And then the guy, the people have to go over to it, don't they? So the the, the, the peace patrol, yeah, who have no fucking no qualifications, they, no training. They've never dealt with anything like this. No, they've got to sort out. Like, get the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> what do you even do in that situation? Excuse me. Well, they they was they were terrified that they'd have like fucking weapons on them or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big terrorist attack. Yeah, <laughs> you open it up, it's just looks fucking grenades. <laughs> well, they said the biggest thing was. Um, a girl was getting raped, wasn't she? Oh, supposedly. Supposedly. So a young girl was passed in, out in the van with no clothes on. Yeah. And the dude was pulling his kecks up on you. Some some stiffler. Yeah, some sleazy, <laughs> sleazy jock. Um, but that's the rape van. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. At uh, a fat boy slim concert. So it got to a point where he even he was like he gets the message back, doesn't he? he Realizes yeah. what's going on and stuff. So they get. Everyone off the off the van, get everyone out of the van, and then um, there's still people the, outside, probably still smashing up, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it, definitely. Throughout yeah. the night, yeah, not not even in this rave, there's still 
drinking and fucking smashing up. Yeah, so that young girl... Because, like, people were going at, like, 15, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, there was a lot of young people, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, um, underage. So she gets taken off in an ambulance, doesn't she? And then they, they wheel out that... Um, the, uh, the, the truck. And then it starts going a bit weird again. Like, does something else happen? I feel, I feel like something did... Because I know that... Um, Fat Boy Slim is his team like rush him don't need to oh, that, that's it he, he stops doesn't he? Fat Boy Slim stops yeah I think he stops to like um, and says I'm not doing it unless you all unless you sort out you know like get the van out of the way yeah, and everybody, yeah. everybody starts fucking behaving themselves yeah and you just it's like they don't allow him back on or something for a while they and must, the crowd go crazy they must do and yeah. then when he finally gets back on the crowd are like like we've had enough here and they Hell start abuse. launching stuff. Oh my god. And then you said, didn't they? His his team. I remember that with the they're trying to grab all like the records. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the stage and, and run off. off. Yeah. That's fucking mad that. Yeah, which is that's just crazy, that isn't it? Yeah. So that is the end of Day two. Day two, yeah. It's it's peak level. Yeah. Well we think. We're getting there, it's getting a bit It's it's over the top. Chaotic, yeah. Laws are broken. Yeah. It's un it was it. Unruly. It's unruly, yeah, to say the least. <laughs> to say the least. It's not a good time there now. No. Maybe no, from like a few people in the. Well, you said everybody said it was the best time of their life afterwards. Yeah. Looking back. No, well, people have a good time. He doesn't like. Smashing up stuff. Yeah. Doesn't like smashing stuff up. And like, all these people are smashing shit up, and the Peace Patrol are just like. It's ridiculous, though, because like we were saying about like the people who were there. It's those kind of people, like, there's a guy, like, fucking rips down a bit of fucking plywood off a, off yeah. a, off a fence, and there's hundreds of people around them cheering. Yeah, yeah. It's All like, high-fiving yeah. each other. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you so fucking bothered? <laughs> and, like, what does that even, like, contribute to anything? Yeah. <laughs> fucking smashing the place up. Nothing. It's just that uh, that anarchy that, yeah. like, we're all drunk, we've, we've been ripped off, everyone's starting to get a bit fuming. So, like, day three come, and people start going home now, don't they? Yeah, there's a few people bailing. So, so day Fuck three this. is is it Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday morning. This is on the documentary. They start showing all about, the like, the sanitary issues and um, the water. Some fucking hygiene specialist comes on, and he'd taken samples of the water and said, like, it's fucking... It's all mixed, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a stunk of shit. And, yeah. Um, so, so there's no there's no sanitary everyone's drinking this people are yeah. splashing around in mud puddles what they think are mud puddles it's but that's all shit yeah. as well there's like footage of people next to the cubicles that are like being tipped over and shit I don't like get that, that. how and stupid just, is that they're just like fucking sliding yeah. in the mud aren't they yeah there's like it's there are portaloos or like Everywhere, scattered. scattered around, all on the side and stuff. And there's water spraying and up and yeah, everything. The guys are loving it, like sliding down oh, all this mud, God. not thinking it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> that sums them up. That sums them up right there. Yeah. Um. So that. So then people start going like, we're getting off. Yeah. And we. Uh, we should say at this time though, we're, we're all about the chaos. All this chaos is happening. Yeah. On the floor. Yeah. But the people like Michael Lang and John Sher. These are they and the the people who who set up the the festival um, are not on the the front. They're not on the floor with all them. No. They're all back in this like fucking VIP vi- spot with all the yeah with all the celebrities yeah. and like they've got their own like uh, they got a tower, haven't they? Yeah, where like the the people who work in there go, and they're completely like out of touch with what's yeah. going on. They Is don't that, even they've know. They've got all like fresh. Fresh air uh, water and yeah, they're not going everything. down and doing that. Living they're not the even lo- looking at it. They probably get a few reports, aren't they? Back yeah. saying, "Oh, this and they're like, oh, they're not- yeah." So they're just seeing like the the cra- oh god, they were so crazy when when uh, Rage Against the Machine yeah. were on. Oh, the crowd. They're not looking at people sliding around in their own shit. No, they they, they were completely detached. Yeah. from what was actually going on in the festival. <sighs> that's that's like a. There's another problem. Yeah, got to <laughs> get in. Roll your sleeves up. Yep. If you, I think if you had a proper security system. Security people, they would have had a like, good communication system. Yeah. Not just a bunch of kids, and half of them were fucking partying anyway. Yeah. The other half just didn't know how to deal with it. Exactly. Yeah, Michael Language had no idea that all this was. He just thought. Because, like, there's so many videos of, like, um, the first Woodstock where he's, like, going around during the festival. Yeah, he's, he? in, he's there, isn't he? Yeah. Talking to everybody. But this one, he, he didn't. Well, they, they were Back saying. Scenes. The people who worked there were saying that as well, weren't they? Like, he never. He didn't talk to anyone. No. Nah. It's because he's a weirdo. Yeah. Absolutely. You go and watch the no, documentary and look how weird That's what he is. And he he doesn't say anything about it. He says, um, so oh, we'll get onto it in a minute. Yeah. But, so Sunday starts, people start so, going Sunday on. Sunday starts. Um, the music on Sunday. Willie Nelson. Yeah. He starts it on Sunday. Does yeah. start singing Amazing Grace or something. 
fucking weirdo. I wouldn't be watching Willie Nelson. No. Um, who else is there? Elvis Costello. Yeah. Um, Creed. They're a bit banger, aren't they? Creed. Creed. They're yeah. like grungy. Um, who else is there? I don't know any of these. Um, mm. Spitfire, Mike Ness, Our Lady Peace, Rusty Root, Seven Dust. Don't know any. <laughs> Godsmack, I know them. They're like, um, I don't know, like a bit of a grungy. But the Megadeth, yeah, they never said that on the program, did no, they? No, they didn't talk about Megadeth. No, he, they, I think they were on, the, they were on the West stage at the end. Jewel, Jewel plays but as well, isn't she? Jewel, on oh yeah, Jewel, oh, yeah. yeah, Jewel was on the East stage. She's cool with Red Hot Chili Peppers as well. They, she's like that chill, Jewel. Yeah, she is, isn't he? She, see, so they had a few people. They could, it could have been all right. It, you should have just got rid of all the fucking extreme I know. new metal bands. So then, well, this is so it's Red Hot Chili Peppers now, isn't it? On the Sunday, yeah, yeah, that's um, like where it goes. So they're like, okay, uh, oh, and there's been murmurings the whole thing. There's a, like, there's another guest, yeah, who's going to do the, close the show, finalize yeah, the festival that we don't know. Any, no one knows guest. who it is. People are saying it was like going to be Michael Jackson, wasn't it? Or yeah. Prince? Prince, yeah, Prince. That well, would have been so fucking cool. Exactly. Prince turned Guns and Roses. Um, yeah, loads of people think who it's going to be. And it, you, you're probably listening in now, wondering why? Why is it still going on? Why? Yeah. It's, it's because what we said the the people at the top didn't know yeah. what was going on. I don't think they'd have shut it down anyway. Do you reckon? No, no way. But if there was police there, the police would have done something. Yeah. There's no police, wasn't there? No police at all. Not until the <laughs> until Sunday the, night. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, Red Hot Chili Peppers playing. What Buff Matt Flea came out absolutely stark naked. Oh, he always does. I just, they, yeah, my head just fell off. <laughs> that's his. That's his usual look. Yeah, his usual attire. I know he's always got no top on, like, but he's a bit fried, isn't he? He's frazzled. Yeah, he is. He's a pork scratching. <laughs> <laughs> he is, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but they're cl- that they're class. I'd love to. Do you like? Suit. Do you like them? Yeah. I like Red Hot Chili. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the early stuff. Yeah, like I, no, I don't listen to any of the new stuff. I don't listen to any new music at all, anyway. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> but, um, so they're, they're going, it's all nice and happy. And the the, the thing was, he's right, we're going to give everybody candles because it's going to be like the fan, the crescendo, and all the, all the crowd will be lit up with candles. Yeah, and the, a proper, like, um, vigil. Yeah, proper... Like, Homage yeah. to peace and love. Yeah, and the fire marshal saying, don't do it. It's You we, can't give... 25,000, yeah. uh, 250,000 people We've just They've just been riot- on borderline rioting for the past two days. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be doing this now. I know. But then, so Red Hot Chili Peppers were playing, and the last song they played was Fire yeah. by Jimi Hendrix. So, this is, so they do, they, they play Under the Bridge, and that's when everyone lights the candles. Is that it, yeah? Yeah, and it's dead nice and peaceful, and everyone's yeah. like, oh, lovely is this. Whole, the whole crowd lit up. And then... Um, and then uh, it's dead nice and then they look into the distance and it looks like there's a big fire <laughs> that's it yeah there's like a big glow isn't yeah. there and then they realise some uh, someone set a fire so they run over to get the fire uh, I think they had a team on there didn't they like fire fire brigade <laughs> and go uh, hi there's a fire can you go and put it out yeah and now the, cr- the crowd's obviously going crazy because someone's lit a fire yeah in the crowd <laughs> yeah in the crowd um, so it's, the crowd's kicking off again Red Hot Chili Peppers are still playing probably playing something a bit more rowdy um, and then um, the fire marshal say no no we're not going out there well, yeah we're not going yeah they don't want yeah. to get involved in yeah. they he said I'm not putting that we're not going to put that out yeah so it's already don't too go. crazy yeah. so Michael Lang went ran ran through went to get them and they say no we're not going it's too dangerous <laughs> and they're like what so then Loads more fires start going up. Yeah, the bonfires basically start popping up, don't they? Yeah. Throughout the crowd, and it, at the back, yeah. we're all like the fucking, I don't know, wooden shit fences exactly. and all and that. Just is. Throwing everything onto the fires. Ev- like stuff's already been ripped apart. Yeah, people are picking Perfect. it all there's, up. There's, yeah, there's it's just fuel every- everywhere. Yeah, it's lying around yeah. everywhere. So, Michael, uh, uh, sorry, John Shear comes out, doesn't he, and says like, "Hi." Guys, there's fires. You're gonna you're gonna endanger yourselves and, yeah. and people around you and stuff like that. Why hasn't he come out like the day before? Yeah, and fucking said <laughs> everybody to calm down. Yeah, he just didn't realize, did he? Um, and obviously, no one's listening to him. No, and you, you probably don't even know who he is. You can't do anything about it. No. Um. So then, Red Hot Chili Peppers come back out. Uh, he says to he speaks to Anthony. Uh, Kiedis, don't they? Yeah, and yeah. go. You need to go back out and say something. Yeah, you need. They yeah. say, they say, don't they? You, yeah. To Anthony, 
You need to fucking because they listen to you. Get, yeah. Because what they're thinking is the fella from Corn went out, Limp Biscuit. They ran the crowd. Yeah, Limp Biscuit, Fred Durst, fucking riled them up yeah, in the yeah. wrong way. So they're thinking, oh, maybe if Ant- we Ant- got, we'll try and go the other way. Big toe, get out yeah. there. So he goes out for the on court. Go on, Tony lad, and just starts playing it. Uh, just starts playing Fire by Jimmy, by Jimmy <laughs> Hendrix. <laughs> <laughs> so. If you want to put blame on people, you've got corn, yeah. the biscuit, and then you've got him. Yeah, <laughs> playing which is ridiculous. Fire, That's, which is so that is so funny. <laughs> you feel like people could people literally could die with I a can't fire. I believe no one. Oh, oh, there was there was deaths. Yeah, was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, so, Chili Peppers play, and yeah. then cool. They they finish the little encore. They get off. <laughs> Everyone's is- then thinking. This is it, the crescendo. Yeah, yeah, here we the go. Final guest. This is yeah. There's the rumors. Everybody's building up to it. And then the stage dies down, and the screen comes up, and they just start playing a video of Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> and then it's like, thanks, guy. Thank- Michael, does he come? Michael and comes on, doesn't he? I think goes, so, yeah. Thank you, guys. Have a safe journey home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking riot and the set and fire yeah. and, and they're stuff. Like, and he's well, on stage. Well, going, Thank gonna, you. Yeah, this isn't gonna. This isn't gonna work. No. So everyone just goes fucking mental. Don't that, it, it hits and another level. Then those clips, it's genuine anarchy. It's like war clips. Yeah. It's like if you were in the middle of Vietnam. Thing, Anthony Kiedis calls it honestly. It's like Apocalypse Now. Aren't yeah. <laughs> you know, have you ever seen Apocalypse Now? Uh, I haven't. No. Oh, there's a scene. People seem to know him. Right? He goes down the river. Basically, he's going down the the river, and he's yeah. going crazy and crazy further down the river. He's going the main guy, and he gets to the, the end point, the front line yeah. of the war, like the Vietnam War. And he needs to get further. He's like trying to get into Cambodia. He gets to the end point of the battle, and it's just like chaos. It's like the like explosions going off. He's yeah. trying to find who's in control, and the, everybody's going, "Oh, we don't know." We're just and they're just fighting anybody. Yeah, there's people just getting like stoned in this <laughs> corner, like Rolling Stones play, and it's literally like a scene. Is it <laughs> out <laughs> from fucking train wreck? So this is so they they now just start lighting fires absolutely everywhere, don't they? Yeah, in the whole it's, it, sh- it turns to a, a full riot, isn't it? Yeah, and full riot mode. Everyone else just gets off. Well, the team, that like hospitality team of like the the guys who were doing the interviews and that have to barricade themselves. Yeah, they they start. They, so they they realise that the crowd now are, uh, they've gone from like wrecking the place to like actual proper violently rioting. Do you know they? what someone says, and it's stuck with me. They go when you put when 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 people are in a herd, they turn into animals. They turn, yeah. <laughs> that's how good is that? That's it. Yeah, that sums it up. Yeah. So this is like these big massive groups of people. And they're just they're just bouncing off yeah. each other. And go and just go and watch those clips. Like even if you just watch the trailer for that for the documentary. Yeah, it has all the clips, doesn't yeah, it? It, has, that, it the shows you all the, like the where it goes crazy. Yeah. So the so the so the, they're at that gig. They're yeah. at the stage. Which stage was it? The um, it was the the east stage. Yeah. Um. So that was like high up a bit. So obviously the crowd starts right and coming down yeah. into like where the food stalls was and everything. Yeah. And the food people are like, oh shit, this is... This We've is got not... all our money here as well. Yeah, this is not looking good. And like the everybody starts stealing, don't they? Yeah, start robbing everything. They get to uh, to all the vans and stuff and start robbing all the vans. Yeah. And, and start... Pillaging, set... like Vikings. Yeah. Fucking... Literally. Just going through, just having whatever you want. And all the people like... And then why do Americans always do that? <laughs> it's in their nature. Yeah. And then they start setting fire to those the big uh, big trailers, don't they? Yeah, that the, have the propane trucks. canisters on. Yeah. And then they just start fucking blowing up. The explode it's li- fucking massive yeah. explode. It's like like someone's dropped a bomb. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and the, each one's going boom boom. Massive explode. And every you can see it for the whole festival, can't you? Like yeah. you can see the you know, from wherever you're stood, yeah. you can see that massive explosion. Was, so everyone off. everyone gets off though. So M C V and all that have left. Yeah, they like this has gone too much here, then we're fucking off. There's that one guy who's doing like his own little documentary. His isn't little he? reporter. Yeah. And he's like, Fuck, we're going straight back in. He's he's like a, a war reporter, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he like, runs into yeah. the action. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking class. Um Yeah, but that's just Yeah, and the you said the the people who People who are working on the on the ground, yeah, ended up retreating back into like one of the where the uh, Michael Langan or them, yeah, were, you know, like where they were distanced from it in like yeah. some some hot or but what hangar or whatever. They ended up barricading, didn't they? Yeah, and they, they fully to, barricade the door. They had to barricade the door from the fucking That's rioting terrifying. people, <laughs> like literally scared for their life, weren't Mad, they? Isn't it? Didn't they? All the ATMs were like absolutely smashed up, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, just take absolutely. Every, they took everything. It was just raided, fucking pillaged. And then they start ripping down all the the lights and all those big stands, towers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And that, some footage of that is like how people not like stood under that and get yeah. crushed by. Uh, it. No, I thought like some big metal. It was frames. a speaker, wasn't it? Yeah. Fuck. Giant how, speaker. How like people are absolutely smashed, drunk. How did someone not just like was stumbling underneath it? Yeah. Get fucking crushed <laughs> by this metal frame <laughs> oh it's, it's fucking ridiculous yeah so that just goes Scenes. on till early hours in the morning yeah i don't know what, i don't know what like the end goal is what's like this the sheep yeah. mentality you I just don't know what they want to do yeah you just you're just gonna live there now <laughs> well, <laughs> let's go back to our tents oh that's what they do they just what they just then go back to the tents with all the fires and stuff <laughs> and wake up and go home yeah no so but then they get the what is it? State troopers. Yeah, they had to get them in that, which yeah. should have been should have been some type of fucking security like that in the yeah. first place. Yeah. Or yeah. they should have come in on the fucking Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> when on they the start. Day, yeah. 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 But well, they come in, don't they? And then it's like your typical. They start fucking, battering everyone. Yeah. yeah. Your riot shield batting, yeah. whatever. Fly in, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And the foot. This all footage. The whole footage of it all, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Somebody says it's like Lord of the Flies, isn't it? Yeah. And then they the, do. the riot police come in. Fucking caving everybody's heads in. That's what because the guy, one of the guys says that, doesn't he? He says he just got battered by. <laughs> yeah. By them. Yeah. And, and then so that happens in the morning, doesn't it? And they start dispersing people. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking kicking them out. I don't, as, you, as you should do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, how do you like disperse a full that many people and make sure they don't go on. There's not enough. Further. There can't be enough troops anyway. I can't imagine there still being like two hundred and fifty thousand people there. Like, but yes, yeah, people would have bailed. There'd be a few, a few. Like probably under a thousand though, yeah. Because it was looked like there was a lot of people, wasn't there? Yeah. On those clips, <laughs> like a lot of people. Um. So that so, the state troopers are in, disperse everyone, and then it's like we're gonna the the hold an emergency press conference, don't they? Yeah. And Michael Lang, yeah, and Michael Lang literally says, it just it seems like such a bad ending to it's such a decent weekend. <laughs> What the fuck are you on about? And he's going. It's it was just a group of fifty violent d- dudes, yeah, who ruined it for everyone else. That would l- Don't condemn the whole yeah. festival. <laughs> it li- it's literally that what he says, isn't yeah. it? Like, oh, it was just a handful of guys, yeah. Got, and like, no, if you look at the footage, it's, it's everyone, everybody, yeah, <laughs> right. It's right. It's everywhere, <laughs> exactly. And then, but and so everyone's getting kicked out on that. Well, that'd be Monday morning. Yeah. And I think, like... They're interviewing people, and people are going, yeah, I fucking loved it. Yeah. <laughs> if they didn't know Woodstock, would you come back? Yeah, fucking too right, I'd come back. Best. Even though they were fuming yeah. to cause rioting. Exactly. That's crazy, like, to think of what... Think of that. Think out the Do you have any urge to riot? I don't know. I feel like you'd be involved in the riot, <laughs> wouldn't you? Could get caught up in it, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be caught up in the degeneracy of the, the raving, but I could be caught up in the degeneracy of the rioting. <laughs> See, I just have absolutely no urge to rip down a speaker tower. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel I could I could probably riot from like an entertaining point of view. I couldn't riot like emotionally. Like, yeah. I don't feel like a feel what. What would it be that what asked about? Because what's that? Like, is that entertaining or? Um, I think it could be though. Couldn't you imagine running around just. Well, they are just all sprinting stuff. around. Yeah. Sing, singing Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> See, there, there's the bit where I line. <laughs> <Yeah>. I line. <laughs> the, <laughs> Yeah, they've got no T-shirts on, yeah. fucking running around. Fires everywhere. People jumping over the fires and stuff, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, pushing over shit. Eh? Yeah. So that, so, so they've, they've sorted it all out. They clear everyone out. Michael Lang has his stupid interview because he's, he's just a divvy. He, he doesn't, he's, he's embarrassed. He's an idiot. He's embarrassed. He doesn't fully realise what's just happened. Or do you think, yeah, do you think he does now or do you think he's still, he's not grasped it properly? Actually, I don't think he has. He's, no. he's that much of an idiot. I don't think he's grasped the full... He's a bit of an airhead, like isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think he's. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think he fully get understands what happened. <laughs> but um, and then John shares the same. So the thing was, people were claiming that they let all these riots and all that happen. Yeah. So that Woodstock '99 stays iconic, stays in history, and they'll make even more money for years to come. Yeah. And then that John share with the guiltiest face. In the world, <laughs> the way they film it and everything, where they go, what? No, that's that is absolutely absurd. <laughs> Why would we ever do that? And then they pause and they stay on his face yeah, and he yeah. almost smiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had it out for him. Yeah, 
It, it probably was. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I want a Woodstock nineteen ninety shirt now. Do you? Yeah, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Still making the money. Um. So then, that goes by, and this is where it starts. All the news starts coming out that people are being raped there. And this is another really annoying me about that John Share. So yeah. four four people claimed four four girls were raped. Yeah. It's all over the news. Four girls. But that's like police investigation. I think there would have been loads more. Yeah. Well, people wouldn't have come out about yeah. it, would they? Um, I don't know how the why the police even bothered investigating it because you would never ever find anyone no. who did it. It's just like it. But John, uh, that um, John Share goes. Um, well, you know we we had like a like a a, a village two two thousand. Uh, 200,000 200, people. Um, like, he basically said, oh. he's not condoning it, but like four rapes out of 2,000, yeah, yeah, 200,000 yeah. people. It's pretty normal. <laughs> it's like, what are you he, talking about? <laughs> he, he says, like, it's good. It's bound to happen with that much people, isn't yeah. it? What? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> In a way, though, you, like, I don't agree with that, but it's statistically. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it is exactly. right, isn't it? You know, yeah. like, you have that much people, there's, somebody's going to get murdered. Well, it's like that. You know, like, how many murders? One in five there? people have cancer. Someone's going to get cancer. Whole thing, yeah. There's going to be some people that went there to Woodstock 99 who died of cancer, statistically. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be some girls, statistically, that were raped. Yeah. It's like it's probably like, what, one in ten girls are sexually assaulted or something? Is that the is statistic? That it? Well, they, they were all getting fucking groped and all sorts. Yeah, yeah. That's but just the way it is. He should have... was, sorry. He, he... That's like the worst thing, the worst way you could go about that. He should that. have completely, like, really thought about what he was saying yeah. before he said that. <laughs> Why? It's like no consideration for them girls, isn't it? No. It's not even like, it's not even, it's not even in defense of like anybody as well. No. He's, yeah, he's not, uh, no, because <laughs> they couldn't. So then Michael Lang talks about it as well, doesn't he? And he's like, oh, I don't know how we, if it, we wouldn't have stopped it anyway. It, it was happening in people's tents. Someone said it happened in a mosh pit, but I, I don't believe that. <laughs> but, <laughs> what? Just say it's really upsetting and it's so unfortunate that because of the the um the it, size and the mass of the of the crowds and, and the stuff, mentality of the crowd yeah that it, it, it was it was bound to ha- it, sorry it was bound to happen that's even i'm falling into the trap. you can't Here say anything nice about it you just go well sorry and it's really unfortunate that it's going to be very difficult to find out who did it yeah yeah just say that yeah well you say if you were if you were a girl and you were raped there yeah where do you even go because there's no like security people, there's no police. Yeah. What do you do? Go to the police patrol. I bet they just. And it's probably like a lad, on a, lad the yeah, a lad who's younger than you. Yeah. Who, who's been raping someone else? Yeah. <laughs> it's um, it's, it's all fucking mental, isn't it? Mm. And then the morning after. Yeah. The the scenes is like a war zone, isn't it? it D- there's somebody saying it's like, is this like, bo- is this fucking Bosnia? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> It's just like driving past. And yeah. It's just it's smoke as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's all like smoky. That'd be cool. I'd lo- I'd love to see what it looks like now. You know. And what do you think? Road trip. Road trip there. Yeah. <laughs> Another riot. Yeah. So. Is that, th- is that it? I feel like I'd. Um. There might be. Um. I feel like I was gonna say something else, but. <laughs> I've forgotten. Um. I don't know. It's just gonna. That's gonna. It. It. it I didn't know anything about it yeah. before I watched that. I, like genuinely knew nothing about it. Mm. Didn't realise it was like that. Um, so watching it, it's just like re- absolutely ridiculous. Crazy. But then... It's all f- the footage as well, isn't it? Yeah. But then I was thinking back and I was thinking, it just it just looks like a festival anyway. <laughs> That's it. People run around in mud and the toilets are horrible and tents yeah. get left around. There's litter everywhere and people do light fires at... Leeds Festival. Like a bonfire. Yeah. A big effigy of Michael Lang being yeah. burnt. <laughs> but I mean, it, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it turns into a war zone. It's the whole music, the whole theme of the festival. Yeah. The um, w- that's what makes it worse. Yeah, you had Limp Biscuit, Fred Durst. Yeah. He's not, nothing, nothing remotely close to hippie, yeah. peace and love. No. Corn. Nothing. Oh, like, no, they, so they didn't speak to Fred Durst, did they, in the thing, but they spoke to the dude from Corn and he was like, fucking loved it. Yeah. But I guess the first day you get away with it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It's weird that because the only, I, I only think ever Fred Durst on like the first didn't, day. Yeah, they didn't. I think Fred Durst. I think I don't think he denies it, but he's just like I'm not bothered. Yeah. Well, he said just you can't. About well, it. Well, he, they get him on camera, don't they? After he comes off stage, he said you can't blame me for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as he's walking off, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. I, I think he's quite fun. I like Fred Durst. Yeah, yeah, he is, he, yeah. He's funny. Doesn't give a shit. Does he? <laughs> 
Right. Uh, well, how would you... Do you reckon it'll ever come back? Um, the Woodstock? Yeah. Oh, I think it would, yeah. There's always going to be, like, Michael Langs and Chunches trying to cash in. Yeah. Well, he's, he's, I'm surprised that we didn't know they were. I didn't realise Michael Lang was dead. She's died recently, yeah. I think... Look. I think he died, um, like, in between the... Because, obviously, he's on the documentary. Yeah. But he died before the documentary came out, so I think... So we never had to um, answer January. for the backlash. Died in January. Jan- this January. Yeah, twenty-two. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah, I don't. I can't. I think without him, it won't come back. You reckon? You, people pay homage. What do we have? There's a festival in in the UK that has a similar name, and it's kind of like Woodstock. Yeah. Um. I can't remember what it's called. What's the festival? It's Glastonbury. <laughs> Isle of White. No, it's Isle not, of Man. It's not a big, big one like that though. Um, I don't know. I don't know any. Leeds, Reading. No. Um, I can't remember what it's. If it's a smaller festival, it's not like. I don't. I don't I know any. I can't remember. Boomtown. <laughs> Boomtown. <laughs> That's one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was on the other day. It's meant to be called Boomtown. Is so, it? Yeah, apparently. The only people who told me that's good. It done. Like. Absolutely, you're like um, the scattiest type people. Yeah, <laughs> the only <laughs> and you and you. Yeah. <laughs> you're the... No, I've heard. Have you heard? Yeah, yeah. from quite from scattered people. <laughs> actually. Um, no, it's. Um, I think it has to stay. I, well, I I said before at the start, like, do you reckon they should have just left it anyway? They should never have done it in '94 or '99. It's like when you make a, a, a diff- remake of a film, isn't it? It's a different time. Yeah, it's like imagine it. like taking like the misogynistic films from the fucking 40s where the men are slapping the women and remaking that now. And they've got to have that. Yeah, it would never work no. because the times have changed. Yeah. The audience is a difference. I know what you mean, yeah. It's completely different. Yeah. It it's is. foolish. Foolish? They were just... It is so stupid. It all came from greed. It would never work. Like The the, um, the bands combined with the, with the people of the 90s fucking punk and metal and grunge and grunge. all that shit it's just not not the same at all American Pie American Fight Pie Club. Fight, Fight Club. Club's just come out that's what they talked about as well didn't they Tyler Durden whoo no it's it, it, it it's all come from that greed isn't it yeah we, we're gonna try and cash in on it get it cut corners so that there's no fucking security there's no proper food yeah and then it, and then idiots who don't accept what's going on make money the off the tickets Make money off the um, the pay per view. Well, they said they made a fortune off that. I, I, who sat watching, like paying, and then because it's like you know, it's like people watch Glastonbury, which well, is free, isn't it? You're not going to sit for like the whole time watching Glastonbury. Well, Glastonbury is every year, but if it was like if you went to Woodstock 1969, <laughs> yeah. so so so, and then you find out they're doing it again, yeah. Or maybe you live in if people in the UK or something like that. Well, say if you went to Woodstock 69 and you were. Twenty. Yeah. How old are you? You're going to be fifty, aren't you? Yeah. And you're going to be tuning in <laughs> to watch. You might just throw it on. Limp you. biscuit. No, you but you be, might you paid be your fifty nine dollars. You might be a very successful businessman, though, <laughs> and you got money to burn. And so you, you just throw and, it on. And you're ready. You've been a hippie all your life. I guarantee. And you're watching <laughs> Limp Biscuit and Rage Against Machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That's that's completely shit for them, isn't it? Yeah. You can watch like fucking. Hendrix and the Grateful Dead and all that like proper and then you tune in it's like Janis Joplin Janis Joplin MTV now p- bumbling like fucking it was new there. metal sure like P Diddy was there was he was he <laughs> 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 fucking hell yeah Kid Rock Kid Rock you gotta yeah. watch Kid Rock he came out didn't he on that that the hottest day in like a full fur coat <laughs> yeah that's it yeah the, yeah he always wears that doesn't he what's his name the um the gay guy the gay guy. Um, he used to wear the big fur coats. Um, oh, fucking hell. He's like a fashion designer, part of that, like with models and all that. You'll oh. definitely know. He's like an, like an iconic... Iconic fashion designer. He's like, he's gay. Uh, fuck. I've That's what... Most of them are gay, aren't they? <laughs> Probably. I don't know if he's a fashion designer. He's part of like all that shit. Is he? I don't know. Um, and he used to wear the massive... Like over the top fur coats. And that's where Kid Rock got it from. Yeah, and yeah. then in his songs, he sings, I'm not gay, like, like whoever this guy yeah. is. Blank. <laughs> yeah, blank. Insert name Insert here. Name. Yeah, he wears his fucking coats <laughs> all the time. Fucking hell. Yeah, he walks out, doesn't he, on the hottest day. Yeah. Covered. 
<laughs> he's got a, he's got a red suit on. Some of the big songs though are like pump you up. Yeah, full on. Definitely well, they all did. That every song. I mean, you want to rape somebody? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's their own fault. I've literally got no sympathy at all. No, no. That John Cher is a proper dope. He's just like a businessman who has no idea, just there to get money. Yeah. He's not bothered about fucking. Um, Michael um, Lang is stuck in the sixties. He didn't realize what was going on either. He's not. He wasn't all there. No, because he wasn't booking those. That's not the music he likes to listen to, is it? <laughs> No. <laughs> he wasn't tuning into um, Megadeth. I'd it? love to go and watch Red Hot Chili Peppers though. They look fucking class. With Flea going crazy. Yeah. Would you start a riot there? In the nude. Yeah. <laughs> I'd get right in the mosh pits, me. Yeah. <laughs> With a big like punching people. <laughs> Head button people. Big um So big... Wait, did people die? So there was three people that died. Two died of heat stroke. Yeah. Um I don't know which on the days, but two were like pulled out, went to like medical and then died later on. Yeah. But it was from heat stroke. And then one person, a woman, died afterwards walking back outside of the festival. Yeah. Or like in the festival, whatever, walking back out. And someone ran her over. What? Some obvious, obviously like completely bladdered, drive, trying to drive back out, you know. Oh my God, like on the way home. Yeah. Plowed into it. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's, <laughs> well, it's me. miraculous that they're, they're the only death. How crazy is that? Yeah. Like I would have thought. Someone would be trampled to death at f- least. From the. F- from the footage, it's yeah. full on <laughs> riots. Yeah. N- nobody dead. No murders. Nah, yeah. Well, this is what I mean. This is what puts fucking John Shea's statistics to, to shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, well, they were all together, though, weren't they? Yeah. Everybody was all rioting together. It wasn't like they were rioting against no each other. No one was going against them, yeah. Apart from that woman who was trying to give the bin bags out in like, the first episode. Remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, that's it, yeah. Who is she? Carl. Um... I don't know. She, and she was going around giving people black she went bags, to, didn't she? Yeah, she went to Fingo to. Yeah, she 69. said she brought it up. She, she brought up as well, didn't she? That there's no no bins. Yeah. And nobody listened to her. Yeah. So she went down onto the floor and was like, "I'm gonna get Ground the people zero. to help tidy up." Yeah. And they were just like, <laughs> "Fuck it off, fuck off." This old woman. Yeah. Because they were like pushing over the things and stuff, and she's going, "That's yeah. art. That's art." Yeah. There's like some like wooden like fucking thing that's yeah, made like up. a hexagon. People are, like flipping it over, yeah. and she's next. They were running in it like weren't they like a hamster wheel? <laughs> fucking stupid it's a definitely guys go and watch go and watch the documentary yeah three parts one for each day 45 minutes ago you'll be cringed out the people like nice cringy american culture yeah proper like mutants americans like seriously they are a different breed but the scenes there are just ridiculous especially yeah. if like, you're like you're listening to this and you didn't know anything about it like we we probably haven't done it justice the the how how intense yeah it is yeah like it is fucking intense the yes, footage yeah it is and especially it's on that last day fueled, the riot yeah all fueled from the because they're playing that music over the top of it as well yeah they are playing all like fucking <laughs> metal music over the top <laughs> ready to get to the yeah. it's good really good and like so and we, as we said from the start what would you have done sort it out you got some security um, food stalls <laughs> shade so that's not that hard. I don't, shade I don't. I'm not that. I don't think the secure. I'd have like a security tent. Like I'd have some a present presence of trained security yeah. people. I wouldn't have like people dotted in the crowd or anything like oh, that. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Undercover cops there. Yeah. I'd have them like <laughs> you have them across the front, don't they? Yeah, yeah. But they didn't even have enough of them there for the for the amount of people. And then I'd have. I don't think I'd have port to lose. I'd just go troughs. Troughs, yeah. Yeah, to shit in, yeah, shit and piss in. What? P- shit in a trough? Yeah. You can't do that. No, just dig a hole and put, um, build toilets over the top of it. Oh, I see, yeah, and yeah. And just fill it in. All right, yeah, no, that sounds all right, actually. Yeah, with a load of sand. <laughs> <laughs> like a litter tray. <laughs> um, and then the water thing I'd do with the water bottles. Yeah, that's a good idea, that. We should put that forward to somebody. Yeah, definitely. That'll sort out waste. Um, food. I don't know. I think I'd just let independent vendors. I would let independent vendors do whatever they want. You know, well, they didn't let people take their own food in. Yeah, I'd just let people take their own food in. Yeah, as well. if they want to. Yeah, and then if you want any hot food, yeah, come come get something. Um. Well, I think festivals are run pretty well do you reckon? these days anyway. So I don't think they need my ideas. No. If they were going to do it again. <laughs> well, you know, I I don't know if it's hundred percent, but the um. The sixty nine one. Mm. I'm sure the security there were the Hell's Angels. Really? They were they were hired there to be the security. That's unbelievable. Imagine that. seeing that. I'm gonna Google that. 
fucking Hell's Angels and motorbikes, or you don't mess with them as well, don't you? No, definitely not. You're fucking chained. Your legs getting whipped by a big chain if you step out of line. <laughs> but everybody's peace and love, weren't they then? Yeah. I think I think it was that one. It might be the other one though. You know, like one of the other big ones. There was one where the Hell's Angels were the. <laughs> they were at the. They were at the festival. Like, oh, yeah. there you go. Back then, as reported by the richest, it was common for the Hell's Angels to be higher security for concerts. <laughs> you know, the, the Hell's Angels now is like a proper organization. And, like, you can't use their logo or anything. Like, they'll sue you. And they've got, like, really? lawyers and fucking. Bi- it's like a business. It's not like a. It's not just a, a bunch of it's hairy not a biker men. Gang yeah, anymore. it's like a. Is it still like a biker gang, though? Like, uh, down to know. the roots? I don't know. I don't think they have the roots now. I think it's just cool been. Not. Oh, it's just like. It's turned it's into like a like hard rock cafe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know people like put Hell's Angel on the stuff, and you can get sued for having it. Like, really? yeah, if you're not part of the the business, cool. Huh? You can get sued for having it. Don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> right, Steve. Have, have we? How, how long have we done there? Um, about an hour and forty. Nice that. That feels like a nice time. Yeah, doesn't feel. I I was su- surprised. Yeah, I thought you that we were gonna say like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> half an hour. We've done forty five minutes. Um. Right. Um, anything you want to let anyone know, Steve, before we um, shut off? Um, I don't think so. We're back next week, Monday, Tuesday, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, something Tuesday, probably. Yeah. Are oh, we actually, we might not be able to choose. Well, whenever we can. Yeah. We need to do um, a cooking. Talk about some food. I think we should. We'd have to make sure we, we've eaten beforehand. Yeah. I don't even. I, I won't even talk about it. I can just sit and listen to you talk about food, you know. I made some lovely noodles before me, you know. Well, I'll tell you next week. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you next time. This was brought to you by Murderly Productions. <laughs>